Luke's just not a farmer. Only. He has too much of his father in him. That's what I'm afraid of. Chances for survival rest with you, Mr. Fax. You and that little book. We're all gonna die. Come on! Look. What in our history together makes you think I'm capable of something like that? Wait, you're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? I am Jack's smirking revenge. Oh. What the hell are you doing? No! Please stop! Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Oh god, no, please! No! The juggernaut, bitch! What if this face is cursed, okay? Back off, bitch! I ain't leaving until I get that face! If this face has a curse on it, you do not want to touch it. Fool of a took. Throw yourself in next time and rid us of your stupidity! Don't do that again. Unless what they're showing off is dope as fuck. Fuck. Let's talk. dance off it's not a it's not a it's not i can footloose the movie exactly like footloose is it still the greatest movie in history it never was What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? <sighs> Welcome back to It's Advanced Productions. 
where I again missed time starting the game because I was watching the opening video, which I also edited. And I really like it. So many good movies. Ah, uh, so this is the second, or technically the first, first planned weekly stream that I'm trying to do around this time every Sunday and Monday if I can. Uh, Wookie Supremacy, one hell of a opener, Vase. Thank you very much. Oh, you know it would probably help. Sitting in the dark. Yeah, makes everyone look better, right? <laughs> So, hey, Steve. Oi, oi. Oi, 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 oi. Um, this is just a chance for people to hang out, chat with me, chat with each other in the chat. I'm trying to do it at a time where people in the UK can actually be involved, uh, as opposed to, like, when I had been doing live streams, which was fine for people in America, but... <laughs> It's kind of like three in the morning for for the UK, and seeing as uh, I think it's like sixty five percent, maybe up to yeah, I think sixty five percent of my subscribers right now are UK based. So you gotta keep your fans happy. Now I have to change. Let's see the settings here because I got in trouble for the music because I don't again don't normally do a lot of streaming so apparently the score volume yeah um that should be headphones the music you can get busted for stuff like that so that's now done which is a shame because the music is great but um yeah let's do it Steve said, I've not seen this game being played in around a year. Hopefully the stream makes me download it again. Well, I'll tell you what happened last last week. I went through, I don't know if you played the story, but essentially I went through this like whole island you have to go to. And I was just like, I kind of wanted to do cowboy stuff. And then I spent half the time in the swamp and half the time on this island. And uh, so this time I'm hoping we can do some more cowboy stuff. I am going to try and do story things mostly while I'm if I'm not caught up in the chat are you the guy who reacted to Frankie Boyle or am I mistaking you for someone else yeah that's me that's me I'm still doing more Frankie Boyle reactions still game reactions that's what the people are asking for so I try and give it to them uh, doing live streams like this is just something new I'm trying to do it's a chance for people to, you know, chill out, do something a little different, do some cowboy stuff. <laughs> Luckily, there's not that many loading times in this game. I mean, there's like this loading time, which takes a while, but once you're in, it's kind of like GTA that way. Once you're in, you're in. For the most part. Steve, yes, I love them. That's how I discovered you. I'm glad you found me. I'm glad you found um, I'm happy for everyone that's found me and subscribed and is enjoying the stuff that we're doing. I'm having a lot of fun. That's why I do it. It's just for fun. <laughs> like, I... And for discovering new comedians, which is just a joy. Um, okay, so an hour ago, someone commented on my latest still game reaction guy named Lord Richie said you deserve so many more subscribers great reactions as always mate and you know it's fun that's why I do it let's see oh and people are saying my audience annihilation part two with Frankie Boyle is asking them for age verification I don't know if I change that I didn't turn that on. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Bum. 
All right, music, music less. All right, controls. Dead eye ability is improved. You will now remain in dead eye when you fire a weapon. You have not tagged a target. Oh my goodness, right. So I think the last thing I did was get back from the island and I need a shave. Where's my camp? It's my horse. This looks like our camp. Andrew Lawrence Comedy Unleashed. That is absolutely on the list, more and I've seen you request it more than once, so okay, I'm definitely going to be putting that near the top of my list. It goes. St I'm, I'm going to try and do still game, then re reaction still. I, th I bet you I should have gone inside. Yep. Um, oh, another morning. Still game, and then like comedy reaction. Still game, comedy reaction. Live stream, hang out, talk to people, chill, um, and just kind of keep it going. I'm I'm aiming to do Morning. daily releases now, since Morning. I've gotten so since recently so many people are interested, subscribing, asking for more. Um, it seems like the thing to do now. Here's, it's my mirror. <laughs> Okay, sleep. This is ridiculous. I guess I need to go to town to get a haircut. Ugh! Gotta do something about this crazy beard, though. <clears throat> Another day. <laughs> That's it. Steve said, oh wow, an American watching Still Game, that's nutty. I love that. Still Game is a religion in Scotland. Yeah, I had another guy comment. <laughs> he was like, uh, as soon as you finish watching all of Still Game, you'll be an honorary Scotsman. <laughs> like, Who knew? That's all you had to do. <laughs> what an excellent requirement. Yep. Why? Of course. At least my horse is still here. Morning. Morning. Alright. Um. Let's go to a town. Scissors. That's. Gotta be a barber. What? Okay. And then once I get on the trail here, I can turn on the cinematic camera. Yeah. Maybe. He should follow the road now. It doesn't look like he is. <laughs> Alright, maybe I have to be further down the road. I ain't got time for this. I need to get a haircut. Hear yeah. <laughs> about the cramp? A grandpa who got 100% on this game. No, I had not heard of that. I think I'm at like 50 something. I don't even know. You can already be an honorary Brit, mate. <laughs> Appreciate that. Cheers! What's up, Travis? How's it going? Welcome. Good day. Alright. Jump to wagon. No, I don't think that I will. And then as soon as I do this, we'll find a mission that hopefully doesn't involve me going into the swamp again. It's hard to pronounce. Hello. Looking for a trim? Yes. Got an idea of what you want? Yeah. <laughs> Let's cut down on that facial hair. 
Well, I guess I can give him some sweet sideburns. That's, uh, looks pretty good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Got it all back. Oh man, he is not looking good. Okay, the tuberculosis is setting in. Maybe I should keep some of that beard. Hmm. Shaving. Mighty fine if I do say so. Except for the wasting sickness all up in my face. Please. Wecklam, mate. <laughs> Wecklam, Mike. How's it going? <laughs> oh, that killed me. I need to get one of those doormats. <laughs> You're welcome. Everyone giving him crap the rest of the episode. That's so fun. Okay, who's this? Saloon. A no-nonsense drinking establishment. Well, that sounds like fun. Um, Sadie, we're gonna rescue John. Let's do it. She likes to shoot stuff. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Still have all my guns. <laughs> A lot of guns. Uh, no. And I should probably put that away while I'm in the city. It's alright, you can. Why? Uh oh. <coughs> Just dying. I told you he didn't look good. <laughs> Mister, are you? Oh yeah, it's really cool because they have like you go to the swamp, you go to the the plains. There's you start in like the mountains, you come down out of that. Uh, so it's like all the different Mister, cowboy stuff, and okay? then this is kind of like the city. Kind of like New Orleans Mister, back in the day, I think it's okay? based off. Saint Denis, New Orleans. Okay, Some of that Mister? French Cajun flavor. Uh huh. Mister, uh. You don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. All right. Lyric Assassins, thanks for tuning in. I'll get on that uh, Andrew Lawrence comedy. That's should be seeing that soon. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll be fine in a minute. You're coughing up blood. That's never a good. It's never been like, oh, thank goodness, I'm coughing blood. <laughs> Now you head in there, friend. Go on. That's not a I'm dying. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Okay, so Steve said, how is your guy not well? What happened there? So, early on in the story, one of the missions you have to do is debt collecting, and there's this guy that you beat up for his money, and he coughs in your face. And then you come back later, and that guy is dead. And this is about to tell me, I'm pretty sure that I contracted tuberculosis. Like, it hasn't been official yet, but I've coughed several times, and every time I'm like, and so, yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's now going to tell me, you've contracted a disease that is fatal to you in this day and age. You got money? Yes, I've I got mean, thousands of dollars. You, I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. 
Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. I'm gonna wash up because I don't want to get what you what got. What is it? It's not good news. I guess that. You got tuberculosis. TB. Really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. You'll be. Now the best thing is rest. Dead. Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in <laughs> California. No, it's not possible. You yeah, smoke right in front of a tuberculosis suspicion. Hell of a doctor. Like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Yeah, I was about to say. It's like the late 1800s or whatever, or sometime around that. Wouldn't they just like throw cocaine and stuff at me? Like, here's some heroin to take the edge off and uh, cocaine to put that pet back in your step. So, I'm dying. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. It's not letting me go any faster than that. You have it in you, I can tell. You said it. You said it, Steve, yeah. Boy, I'm so glad I only contracted virtual choice. tuberculosis. He was good and he did good. It sucks for this avatar. <laughs> I understand if you don't want to help me, but but I think of you often. And I think I've murdered tons of people. Like, innocence, but for the morality of this game, I've actually done, like, a bunch of side quests and stuff. Yeah. And so I see a elk right there. If you're a bad guy, you would see a wolf if your morality was bad. So I guess, technically, in the terms of a Grand Theft Auto type game, I'm a good guy. <laughs> but. You're sick. While sick, you will only gain the benefit from consuming a limited amount of food and drink. So that's what that. Yay. Well, at least I'm already at the next mission. Let's do it. Let's see if I can, like, beat the game today. The story, anyway. That would be interesting. I don't know how much is left. I'd gotten this far in a previous playthrough, but Any that's... problems coming in? That's about it. Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. Yeah, if your uh, yeah. morality is negative. What See, but, but I've got them? tons of good morality because I donated tons of money to the camp. But that's how you get upgrades for your camp. And I was what like, happened to Dutch? But every time you do that, it's he like, seems... you're a good guy. I'm just like, I'm being practical. Like, <laughs> what began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. Slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So I too. Yeah, now, people keep getting blown away, away in these well, story missions. I the morgue and buried them together. Irish guy Sean got his head blown off in the middle of the street. That's how it started. Follow me. That was one of the earlier ones. Everything's going to hell. The, um... I said it last week, but I'll say it again, like... Yeah. The voice acting... 
so, and storyline of the it's like watching plan? a western it's well i figure before we do anything we need to make sure so Don's well done still at this prison and how do we do that we need to get up high enough to get a proper making me take out my guns again look at the place what it's on an island ain't it unless you're planning on learning how to fly that's exactly what we're gonna do i found us a hot air balloon you ain't serious now the pilot or whatever you call him he thinks we're just in it for a lesson bit of a tour <laughs> he's quite the character i think you'll like him you know another great feature I'm of this impressed. game is you really the realistic horse up, testicles hey. <laughs> We didn't know if you was and the fact back. that they, every once in a while, will literally just we'll take a shit. It, and you can walk into it, hard. and it gets all over your boots. You can see it. Perrin's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. There's still people in America who talk well, like that. Yeah, that's an accident. I'm like, so I guess on the middle of the East Coast. Yet. If you went down to... I'm just happy you boys were uh, Down to... Uh, Georgia? He got the letter I left so that's some, like, southern... Hey, a beauty, Southern Midwestern so type stuff. Ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Something Mr. like Bullard. that. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's the local Good dialect. Rolls you. off your tongue ah, like molasses rolling you down Mr. the Morgan. side of a tree. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. Sweet. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. <laughs> an aeronaut. You've flown before, sir. No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you <laughs> insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their... Vapors. Science. Thought everyone knew about that. Why a delicate <laughs> flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Oh, that's that. funny. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs. Let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Uh, now, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah, uh, yes. You boys have fun. I love hoping for the best. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up and away. Ascend right. to the desired to catch altitude. A few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids. Do your utmost to levy <laughs> the situation until we land. How do I need to get? Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day too. Steve, the America's so but yeah. That's why you get like the different accents from different parts. Just like, you know, I was thinking like I was like, how do there are there so many different accents in the UK? And then I was like, think about America. There's like I, there's Tons of different accents just in Maryland. Like, I have a typical Maryland accent, but then there's like Baltimore and you get totally different. And then there's the Dundalk accent. Oh, the devil went down to Dundalk, which is just one of the most ridiculous. That's it. Steady oh. Lives. I mean, uh. And then you got the Boston accent. Get in the car! Yeah, you, there's a bunch of different southern accents. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around. This Most time. of them suck, though. <laughs> this particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Okay, we're getting a little high now. Oh. Do I need to? You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. Why am I the one steering? Operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We 
have plenty of those. She did, did she? I wasn't paying attention. Am I supposed to stay above the clouds, below the cloud? Ah. I'm uh this is on my PC, my computer, yeah. Author and Arturo. How perfect is this? I used to play on the Xbox, but then I invested in a PC for editing and rendering and different stuff like that. And it turns out that made it pretty good at playing video games as well. And that's that effect. It's a happy little accident. And I don't know the specs. My friend told me what to buy. And then I put it together. He's off the throttle there, sir. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. interested in the pursuit of aviation? I uh, didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? <laughs> did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. Whoa, there. No need to go any higher. Alright. That's gotta be the island. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. Huh? What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. <laughs> what on earth are you doing? It's Chris. God's about to spot us. Calm down. I go by this. Stay <laughs> high enough. Well, I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor yeah, bastard has Chris. A habit of being I also respond to that. At the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. I'm glad you enjoyed that still game reaction. I enjoy watching it. <laughs> kind of surprised I'd never heard of it before, but I'm really glad to have found it now. <laughs> hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Here, take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control. Oh. I can't believe we're doing this. Is he one of them? That's mm. not him. That ain't John. Wait, wait, he's over here. This was not the tour I had in mind. Oh, that's him. Wait, is that him? Yep, that's him. Oh, shoot. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascent! Ascent! I am oh, ascending <laughs> as hard as I can. Shoot. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take I just back found out I have tuberculosis. Now I'm getting shot while riding in a hot air balloon. <laughs> Over a prison island. Never a never a uh, dull we're day. In the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good lord. My heart is pounding. I saw it on US just the other day. On US I Netflix. Say, yeah, I was so surprised. It was after I started doing reactions to it. I think well, on one of their recent now. changeovers. 
Yeah, I think it does have subtitles. Someone was saying in the comments to one of my reactions that yes, it is on Netflix, and that the ah, subtitles are sure. mostly good. <laughs> good lord, is that is that Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. So much time on the horses. Shit, they're all dressed. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Got him. Yes, she does. Oh dear, that boiled egg feels decidedly scrambled. Oh, shit. Uh oh, not a great time for that to happen. Game fairs up there for a second. Yeah, I was surprised to see it too. I think I might adjust my feet. That'll teach them O'Driscoll boys. What for? What? Oh, good grief. I oh. Oh. <laughs> that guy died because he hung out with me. No way for a man with tuberculosis to be acting. I think we're gonna crash. No, oh, it's a good thing you just got into that. Good. Give Let's have ourselves a gunfight. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave it for one day! Just kill these! The bitches! Say behind us. One in them. You boys are a goddamn joke. Shit. The more of them coming out of the woods. Ah. Uh. Shooter in the dead. Here we go. 
don't much take to getting shot. Charging down a bunch. I get it, all right. Where's my hat? I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got yeah, for real. Poor bastard killed all it takes is one. I <laughs> they got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I we have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Prison break. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No, but from the fields, yes, that we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. I'm gonna end up in one of these gunfights and just keel that's over. That's all there is, anyhow. Did he get shot? It's no, two. he's just no. violently ill. Oh, there's a bunk. A little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. All right. Feel naked without my hat. Get that. What is? Oops. Nope. Not. Okay. Well, not that that's even important. But. I have a metal skull mask. Neat. Uh, but I prefer my hat, actually. Now then, what's next? Oh, look, X marks the corpse. <laughs> I could go loot those bodies, but I really don't have a need to. I'm pretty well stacked on cash. Uh, looks like the only mission, story mission left is this one. So let's go talk to Dutch. Yep. <laughs> my dead eye and my heart all oh, right I'm sick so eating hurts <laughs> that's the ticket
duck. The mighty train. Yeah. You and your iron horse must leave. Civilization. Smog. Apparently I'm going the wrong way. Camp's that way? What? Make up your mind! Out of the way! Well done. I was just catching up on South Park, and there's two whole episodes where they're talking, and the cops and the kid, everyone's playing Red Dead Redemption. And, like, there's a killer on the loose. Oh, I think it's a man bear pig. And they're being held in jail, and they're like, did you know that there's a way to fast travel if you upgrade your camp? And they're like, explain yourself now! How did the kids get out of jail? They told me there was a way to fast travel! I, I... It just takes so long to ride from St. Denis to camp. And the guy's wife, he's like, I'm leaving you! I'm gonna go start a new life! You can't go all the way back to the mountain level! I will! I will do it! <laughs> South Park, too good. End of another day. Uh-huh. Evening, Arthur. Let me guess. Okay, I was like... You can't run or jump or do anything fun in camp. I was like, it better let me get up onto this. One, Dutch. Two, D4, black. Dutch, I've got tuberculosis. You okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well... I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning the chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to oh, so I've got to no doubt. <laughs> what about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. Mm -hmm. We need more money. We've been on the run for Baby months. Baby got and back. Killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. Micah. I just need time. I broke Micah out of a jail in a small town, no traitors. and we killed everyone in the town so he could get his guns back. It's like... Just murdered a town. They're my favorite guns! Come on, Charles. Charles. Be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. Yes. 
Why well, I'm asking you to ride with me. Come on. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And away. Hmm. You'll see. I know the way. Follow me. I feel like I don't have a choice. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced ah. in another day or two. Oh, come on. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Let's canoe. Yeah, a boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again. That'll be Charles. fun. Have a nice boat you ride. Too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there called Warma. That's what happened last time I played. Really? A tropical island. I should have killed more birds and stuff there, but I was just trying to get off of it, but probably won't have the chance again. I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. I'm just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his... Uh... Wisdom, you know. Of course. Half the gang we started with is dead. So this is just the rides to the boats, which are faster than riding all the way to this. Wow, where are we going? Should be some canoes down to the right here. <laughs> well, I see one anyway, and that'll do. Come on. <clears throat> tap A to row, tap A to row faster. That's okay. Put basic mechanic. Miles up river. So I spent some time up this river. Way when you were gone. I ran into rains fall and eagle flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. 
Yeah, I'd be fine with a cutscene to get us there. Or literally a cut straight to there. After all, he just made it sound so inviting. This is faster than riding horses. Can't imagine. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. That's Butcher Creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. All right, let's walk it from here. It's like still paddling. Good evening. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? Y you'll get away if you know what's good for you. Come on, they're not gonna help us. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road here. Well, let's trudge there. That's as fast as he'll go. Oh. Charles is not in a hurry. I think he was lying about those canoes. <laughs> it's a bit of a walk. We could grab those horses if you want. We probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. I'm not walking however far it is that fast. Let's go. <laughs> this guy. That's more like it. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. They ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots, which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. No. It could be some of them. Oh, that. Yeah, I do. Okay. I say we just... Say what? Mount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me and stay quiet. Seafaring. Hey Vase, I watched every George Carlin videos you've made. Also, thank you. Thank you, George Carlin. Discovering some new stuff that I'd never seen before. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I will do my best. And I discovered new stuff too, because people kept suggesting stuff. There was one guy who had like a million George Carlin links from all over the place. Um, so it's with help like that. But I find good stuff to react to. You ever see the beavers Let's building a dam? I'm sure there's a play. I haven't. But. Come on. Up this way. You mean in this game? I don't even think I've seen any beavers yet. Because I would have killed them, because hunting's a thing.
and skinning and <laughs> definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Because I do the skinning. Well, how about I do the skinning? The what are you waiting for? You're a son of a bitch, you know that? What happened? Uh oh. I forgot I had a stab. Oh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Thought he meant sneak up on him with a knife. I don't know. I got my bow and arrow. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. Dude. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and. Hope they don't come out. What'd you think I was Let's gonna get choose? this over with? Okay. Get in a bit closer and then throw it into the cave. Light that stick and throw it in there. <laughs> Dude. I got hit with that blast. They're like the hills have eyes, people. Push in, you push in. a hardy bastard. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Charles, you see any more? Not for now. No. Come on. Let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Please don't kill me. We ain't gonna hurt you. Being locked up by hill mutants. Just let her out. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. You're safe. It's okay. It's time to go.
Or at least it's okay now. I don't know what happened before we got here. <laughs> Let's go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss. Oh, so now we, we, okay, we're going to live in this little... hell mutant cave. I'll keep you safe. I saved another damsel in distress. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 Um, it's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, miss. I mean, why would they? <laughs> Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Okay. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. First person view, ah, jerky. That's... You think? What have I been doing? Following the waypoint to Ansburg, it's like, hey. Just head for the main street. Go to Ansburg. It'll be easier to walk from there. It's dawn. I'm riding into town with the girl I saved from the Mutant Hill people. He's a hero! Just call me the man with no name, Arthur Morgan. I still have my hat. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy group got us. Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Putting it mildly. Here, let me give you this. I don't need it. Look at me. No, that, that's okay, I'm a man. hero. Just keep her warm and keep her safe. <sighs> this is death? Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> oh, man, he is not looking good. Mrs. Downs. Hmm. I don't remember if that's the woman whose husband gave me tuberculosis and he died, and I still took money from him. And now she's a prostitute. And I'm apparently playing this as good as you can. <laughs> That's all natural, can't avoid it story progression. How you get on? Okay. <laughs> Found a girl. 
took her home. Oh, <laughs> yes. you might can find anything? Maybe. Uh, I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. <laughs> did? Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denise. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God, all my... calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. Are any of your stooges? Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery. And I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Come on, She's shoot me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me! Oh, you you betrayed so now, me! What? Right. Calm down. Arthur? Ah. She's a fool. Get her out of here. Ah. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Damn! <laughs> she knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Home, home on the range. Blasted her away with a shotgun. Chapter six. How many chapters are there? This might be the last chapter. Especially with how sick my character is looking. Okay, see here again. It's showing the deer or the elk. Deer. Uh, if you're playing honorably or whatever, if you have more honor points, you see this. If you're a bad guy, you see a wolf. And like I said, I donated a bunch to my camp so I could have better stuff in my camp. He looks terrible. And, uh... <laughs> That apparently <laughs> counted for good deeds, but... You're a nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman! You think I wanted to shoot her? Nasty woman. Speedy look in your eyes! You're drunk again! And you're a fucking murderer! She broke the rules! She did no such thing! She was Listen to them fight in the background. I like that hat. Wait, what? <laughs> right, you know what? I don't even care. Where's my horse? It's the great thing about your horse. Every morning I wish I wasn't in this place. He has your hat. And the morning, Mr. Morgan. Oh right. Sumptuous day, everyone. <laughs> Everyone completely over that murder? Oh, is that a skunk hat? Well, pretty sure I'm obligated to wear that now. <laughs> and that's why you hunt, so you can get custom clothing items. You think Dutch has lost his mind, Arthur? No, shut up. I don't know anymore. I'm not sure I even care. Well, Micah... Micah says you've been saying crazy things about him. Micah. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Micah, <laughs> Bill. He says a whole lot. Skunk hat. Alright, let's go. Finally. Let's see, map, map, map. Oh, new missions. New side mission. Oh. 
What do we think? Just do story stuff? Though I am a compl- I like to do side missions. Let's, uh... Let's see what this is. Let's go find it. Why not? I put on the skunk hat so I can do what I want. <laughs> Beautiful scenery that I'm just blowing past. Saintly. And I've got four thousand dollars almost, which is a lot for this time period. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Mrs. Downs. Down. <laughs> Mrs. Down. Go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. Probably a while. But, I mean... I might well, take, like, a break I, to use the facilities country. and... Grab a piece it's of pizza or something, unleashed. but That's the thing. I plan on doing this for a while. Any more than man anyone else. unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But I kind of want to sit up, set my day aside. I guess I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think? Down the mine until he gets sick, which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Bowman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go. Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Have an idea. Maybe. Enough. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Nope. Looks like I'm going to the mine. Nice one. Morning to you. All right, all right, here we go. I said all there is to oh, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Deadpool appreciates it. What is that? Lurpacno number one. Oh, your mom's a whore, and that's a goddamn fact. Hey, anybody want to get lucky tonight? Go home here with Archie. <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Oh, oh all right. Oh. Who's this? <laughs> <guy>? <laughs> oh, and this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. I basically, like, punched... You after his mama? Yeah, I did kill his dad. <laughs> kind of. 
Stop bullying the boy. I mean, tuberculosis killed his dad, but then I went to his Leave grieving widow alone. and took money or from what? him. Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Can't even fight your own battles, Downs? Take your hands off me! You're gonna die! Uh -oh. I say what goes around here, not you! Oof. Oof. <laughs> who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go! Give you all tuberculosis. <laughs> Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. They're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. <laughs> all of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Yeah, look at that morality meter. My skunk hat. Hate to lose that. All right, well that was a fun little side. That wasn't too bad. Need some more energy, apparently. Um, there's my horse. Uh, do we have another side mission? Something's happening up there. Let's go shoot it, maybe. What the heck do you want? For you to get out the way? The problem here? Train. Wagon, wagon, wagon. Hey, come on. You got a I do have a problem. I'm not used to driving something with one horsepower. Talk to a stranger. Yeah. Oh no. there this was supposed to be our little adventure oh great <laughs> uh you all right there yeah <laughs> who are you oh it's okay ma'am i don't mean you no harm <laughs> just a well, simple mountain no man what with my now. skunk hat if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... Here, have some money. I've got tons and I'm dying. <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something... true, something... real. I love that my skunk All hat this squandering is and in like the cuts. We wanted to strip it away to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you. 
cow. It's not a good reason to live alone in the wilderness. I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. Is that the side mission? Just talk to this widow. Watch her. Determined to die alone. Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We Why were you living out here? Couldn't even. No catch wonder a he's dead. Mouse. Don't feel bad for these people. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well. You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'm I'll going to teach you. Mm. All right. But you better not try any funny business. Wow. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. You know what? I changed my mind. Come on. If that's how you say thank you, step off. You starving Yo, bitch. You, ever skin an you animal before? hungry. No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're going to survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, I was trying the oh. trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? He A starved. Bear A bear got him. He was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But so now, why won't you do that now? I don't know. It's hard to explain. I have to do this. Emotional person. Uh, I understand. Yeah. I don't. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, uh... I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Well, don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, I see a rabbit. I see a rabbit right there. Stay quiet and still watch me. Oh. Oh. Got it. Oh. Good shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... Now, what, what this do? guy does when he this skins something small like that is he just rips it in half what? and all the skin comes off. Come right off. Yep, see? I don't know if this is true or not. I've never gone hunting. I've been fishing, but hunting... Just go to the butchers. <laughs> That's why they have butchers. Oh my! That's <laughs> <laughs> all there is to it. You did good. Snap. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. Do with that skin. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh yes, at least. Thank you so much. I could kill her. I mean, it really ain't such I don't a bad spot. think I will. I might fail the mission. Yeah, that'd be dumb. Remote, but you can survive here, all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh. A lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Oh lord. Sounds like a wolf. No, we're done. Well, I still have dynamite on hand, but Cal. Wolf, stay back. It's just a I think I got him. Oh, thank God. 
You see, if, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life. Come here. Hey, hey, hey! Like a rug. A rug later. Are you coming? Not yet. <laughs> uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. <laughs> but an undeniably easy one. Undeniably. Shut the hell up. I bet you wouldn't last in the city either, you simple bitch. What would you do there? Probably marry some other dude. That is undeniably simple. <laughs> She's undeniably simple. Drunk. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I guess this is goodbye. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us, for me, since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. Maybe I can you take care of me. hook you up with some tuberculosis. I'm carrying. All right, peace out. Just building up that morality meter. When I die, I'm gonna just ascend right into the heavens. So what is next? I think story mission, yeah? Ooh, wait, there's something new. What? Okay, so I'm definitely gonna do that. Um, so that is... Okay, sorry, where am I? Uh, Leopold Strauss. He is the German money lender aka loan shark he's the guy that i work for i go actually collecting go, the loans what's going on Idiot. and that's how i ended up contracting the tuberculosis was i was collecting a loan from this dude he couldn't pay it off i punched him he coughed in my face i came back later in the story and he was dead but i got the money from his widow that's the woman who we just saw whose son I rescued from the mines and I gave him money. So that's how I got tuberculosis was from the money lending thing and now there's another money lending mission. So this could be interesting. And that whole quest line, the money lending quest line, I think it's called money lending and other sins. What was that? It sounded like...
just some yeah murphy brood aka mutant hill people that probably just murdered whoever was at that camp someone coming oh got friends dear yep should have kept from So what happened here? Yeah, it looks like they ransacked this dude's camp. How terrible! Don't mind if I loot. Oh no, that was bad. Let's go, boy. Yep. Now then. Yeah. On to money lending and other hey. sins. Is that another mission that I spy? What is happening over here? Edith Downs. I should do that first. I'll do that first. Son of a... I'm in a hurry. The skunk hat is starting to smell. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama... Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better <laughs> to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe Dumb. she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, son. As judged by your morality meter. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. I'll go shoot the man that's probably abusing your prostitute mother. Right Times like these... What's your story, he? Yeah. We don't like your cat around these parts, Billy. Search for a trail. This trail? Follow the trail. Did you? Oh. I'm 
all about. That's enough now, partner. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more. Skunk hat, man. Mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <laughs> Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son. Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Come on. Right on my wolf pelt. Yeah. Oh, I'm just a mountain man. Saving prostitutes wherever I can. I know. <laughs> Wearing a skunk hat and so shooting bulls. And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting Started this time? Started thinking of something that rhymes no. with bulls. I ain't looking for that. Okay then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose, I suppose you're right. right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. <laughs> not to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Need to brush my horse. Twang, twang, twang. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. If he ain't dead. Some sort of coal mining. Mama. Mama! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh you're so boy. Got us a mama's boy. Oh, we do. Get out of here. No finer Go thing in this world. Live someplace else. Start over. Here. Take this. Can't you be my new daddy? I don't need it no more. No, I'm gonna die the same way your you daddy did. I don't. You sure shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. It's logical. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. <sighs> don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and Pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. <laughs> Pay attention, you stupid idiot. Do not seek absolution, Uh Let's do it. That's it. I'll stay there, boy. How do you do? It'll take more than that, boy. Here. 
All right, now that I've fed my horse and brushed it. Leopold Strauss. That's the guy, that, so again, this is the guy that started that whole, the tuberculosis, why I know that chick in the first place from being a loan shark to them. And I like, it's... It's you! My friend! This guy is your mysterious savior? I must have saved this guy at some point. Well, howdy. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Guns miss a friend. Figure out what you want and I'll pick up the tail. It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome. Now I can get something free from the gunsmith. So what happened was that guy was probably dying out in the wilderness and I gave him a health potion or something. Hey friend, Stop what do you need? Stop doing man in town thinking. named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tail. Jenkins, huh? Alright, take a look around. What you got in the way of raffles? And and um, I know I have a sawed-off shotgun. Repeating shotgun is locked somehow. I'm about to die of tuberculosis. Another locked gun. All right, Evans repeater. I don't have one. So noted. You have a good day now. I would customize it, but I just don't feel like it right now. The whole world is an integration system, and we are destroying it. But when someone says, hey, I'll give you something for free at the gun shop, that's also why I have a lot of money. <laughs> I have unopened mail? That's probably another side mission. Side missions be praised. You're welcome. How do you do? I do well. How do you? Oh dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Yeah, let's call it that. No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Uh, Theodore Levin. I think if it came to it. I could kill a bear with nothing but 14 inches of good American steel. No idea what that means. First of all... Between you and me, where you find a station, you'll find a lot of trouble. You get a lot of visitors coming in and out of this place, you know. Alright, so that probably just started some side missions for him. Take care now. One of those was from the mayor of San Denis, I'm pretty sure. Oh look, there's is that the island? No, that can't be the No, that's the penitentiary. Okay. Well, we'll have to see about those other missions, but I'm definitely doing this one first. I already put it off the fire tea line. Um, so you remember that lady whose husband gave me tuberculosis when I was collecting the debt and that's what forced her into prostitution? Well, basically, I went back, I saved her, I saved her son from a mine, I don't know if you were there for that. But then I also found them again and sent them on their way. Other than that, I taught this lady whose husband died. They were out in the wilderness, like, or she has a cabin there, but her husband died and she's like, I asked him to move back to Chicago and I would have done it in a heartbeat, but now I have to stay out here and li learn to live by myself. So I taught her how to hunt. And by that, I mean, I shot a rabbit, she skinned it, wolves attacked us, I killed them. That's why I have a wolf pelt on the back of my horse there. But then other than that, that's pretty much it.
I've been doing the side missions. Well, now I'm actually on my way to do another side mission popped up. And I was saying it's from that uh, German guy in our camp, Leopold Strauss. Yep. He's the money lender, a.k.a. Loan Shark. He is the guy that I beat up people to collect their debts for. That's how I contracted tuberculosis in the first place. So I have a new mission for him. And I'm kind of excited to see what it is, because... This is the farthest I've ever gotten in this game. I don't really... I know what happens next because I've read it online and different... Like, I know the story, basically, but I don't know specific plot points. I know the... I know essentially what happens, but... <laughs> Shut up, it's me. Don't make me cough blood in your eye. I'll do it. Little to no provocation. And I'll still be considered the best person, morality-wise, in this entire camp. Also, they shot, they gut-shot somebody in the camp, Miss O'Shea. This chick came back drunk, and she was like, I'm the one that told the Pinkertons where you all were. Well, actually, she had an Irish accent, because she's Miss O'Shea. But then, uh, Miss Griswold shot her with a shotgun, which was what well. someone else was about to do, because that's, it's the code to the gang. So, yeah, things are falling apart. It's nuts. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yeah. Yes. I Which app do are you on? Uh, greetings on Twitch. I'm hey. Well, that's wonderful news. Um, chapter six, uh, I think. Beaver Creek. I, I think it's near the end. I have Catholic lady tuberculosis. Alone, and we prayed. And Ignore the skunk hat. Um. The curse was lifted. But yeah, I'm not doing. He's coughing. He's. I've been to the doctor. Believe. Like, really, we came back from the island. All those years I wasted. So we're near the end. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. How are you? Yeah, holy, I'm only on three. Yeah, there's tons. You might, if, you, if you're worried about spoilers, look out. But, uh... Are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <clears throat> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Anna's Oh, great. Back to Ansbury. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur, like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... figure. figure. I beat people up until they pay. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. Nice. So one guy was in Ansbury. He so said one. Whatever. Go get that guy. Seek out the debtors and recover the money. Sounds like a plan. Really wish you could run through the camp, but I am impatient. Yep. Can't actually go that way. Got to be another way. We're on our way to punch some people until they pay what they owe. I don't know how long it'll take or if some wolves will attack me. Okay, that's a dude. Ah, 
I'm gonna rope him. What? Where'd that crazy guy go? Can I follow him? You guys saw that, right? That guy was howling, and then he attracted this wolf. Which I then shot in the face. Ah, uh, yes. Just like that. How did you think I got this skunk hat? <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. It was just a wild man howling at the moon attracting wolves. And I was going to lasso the man, but the wolf attacked. It is dark. I wish there was a good guy option just to like, instead of going to p collect this debt, I could just be like, how much does he owe? I bet you I can pay it off. Destination. Please keep your hands and feet on the horse until we have approached and made our final descent. And these side missions popping up all over the place. Let me get this money first. Easy. Easy. Probably our guy. Yeah. Hey, you! Get out of here! I ain't here to cause trouble. Listen up, idiot! Scram! Yeah. Maybe that's not him. I was leaving, by the way. So, you just got yourself killed. Yeah. How do you feel now? Where is this guy? Somewhere around here, okay. But not that guy. Okay, maybe it's this guy. Oh, what is wrong with this? 
<clears throat> Howdy there, partner. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. Snow you Goose. borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, so just an objector. I. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here. It's him. It's too late. All right, looks like it's a gunfight. I off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm... I'll the number one rule of you. loan sharking is dead men don't pay debts. You know what? Not anymore. Great. It's all right, my darling. You can come out. Oh, crap. He's got a pregnant oh, Native American wife. Helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket. For the Hello, me ten. Is that the right amount of X's? I'll absolve the debt. Damn I'm such a dad. good person. Get her somewhere safe. Go on. I'm Thank playing you, a moral fella. cowboy. You know there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you, I don't know nothing about kindness. You just might, sir. You just might. I mean, can you imagine a, some people more ostracized in this time than? An army deserter and his pregnant Native American wife. Like, people are racist as hell. Come on now, boy. And that's... We're gonna burn you for consorting with an Indian. Back then, they'd call him an Indian. Not like today. Are you playing cowboys and Indians? No, just, just cowboys. Playing Indians is racist. <laughs> Alright, what we got here? Stranger. There's someone here you can meet. Well, I don't mind if I do. Idiot. I love Red Dead Redemption. Said X X X X X, X, X Me Ten. Um, <laughs> me too. It's one of the most fun games. So the voice acting is amazing. The graphics are awesome. And the gameplay is a lot of fun. And it is in a lot of ways. It's like Grand Theft Auto, but without the autos and with horses. <laughs> I'm on um, hey, my PC, actually. You there? Can you help? Can I? Greetings. Can you help me, mister? What's sure. the problem? He's missing a the foot. goddamn horse got spooked and <laughs> run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, okay. Then you anyway, named your horse? If you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. 
I'll bear that in mind. Search nearby for X X X X X X X X me Ted is not following. Thank you very much for following. I appreciate it. I'm trying to play more video games. I'm actually partially doing this for my YouTube page. Um, just as a way for people to engage me in live chat. But there's the horse. But also, uh, you know, I love one player games, so. I figured if I'm doing live streams, I'm doing stuff, why not just, when I'm playing a video game, put it up there. People can watch and enjoy or not, is. as is their preference. Okay, I'm not gonna shoot it. Just ran out of the electricity. Do this. Easy. Come on now. Easy. 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 There we go. I need to be on my horse. Let's try that. Because this current strategy is not... Come here. Clearly not. What is my objective? So it's starting to piss me off. Okay, do it without the lasso. Pretty sure though, I could have just, whatever. Wiping out my stock of hey boy. Whoa. Hmm. 
It's okay, boy. Whoa, now, easy. So now we can go. Okay. It would have been, you know, I'm just saying. Now come on, then. A little less. It's back. misleading, because when, when I would lasso it, it would say. Do you want to lead the horse? It's like. Uh, hey, he's just where you left. Turns out you need to do it without the lasso. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Okay. Can't go bucking him like that. You know, back in the good old days, it's people just knew there. that in. Intrinsically, you knew you whether to no lasso or man, just to pat it on the hop behind 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 behind. Big and strong you are. And no, I can't really change the angle. A horse kick in the face will knock that disease out of you. Yep, and right into the grave. Well, you're not sick anymore, and that's because you're dead. Sick implies dying. You've passed that sick. Congratulations. Thank goodness, though. I'm just glad I finally figured it out. That would have really Wait, pissed me off. Now. Nothing gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I don't know. I don't know. Why'd you jinx it like that? Shh, 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 boy. <laughs> this way. Come on. And no, no, I can't change the angle. Okay, finally. I found him. You're a good man, mister. I could look Mr. where I was going. Arthur. <laughs> You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Curse my yeah, need to do horse. every side he mission I see. Got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <laughs> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, maybe. Yeah. How'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. Damn. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. That's looking on the bright boy side right there. With me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. I am not going My fishing. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm going to put a bullet in you. <laughs> I'll see you again. I show up that cabin. He's not going to be there because his horse threw him and his leg's missing. Wanna get yourself a more reliable animal, sir. Alright, well that was a experience. Okay. Alright. So I'm seeing... Another guy to collect money from. Let's get him. I'm going to fast travel. Which is possible in this game. It's just not as simple as going to the map and clicking fast travel. You gotta set up a camp. Meager as it may be. Fast travel. Options right there. Hansburg. I know people that have played this game the entire way through didn't know you could do that. <laughs> like, you never set up a camp? <laughs> There's other reasons to set up a camp as well. It's where you can cook food. Like, you get big game meat. That big game cooked meat 
like fully fills up all your uh, cores. And that's how this game works. You have like health core, you have an energy core, you have a dead eye core, and then you have like the actual meter that shows how full it is. The core depends on how fast it charges. The actual meter shows how much you have available. If and you didn't know. Stop mansplaining things. Why well, can't help my gender? It's just to me it's just explaining. So how about you stop that? Oh nonsense. You're man spreading. I can't woman spread. I don't I don't think. You don't know what it's like to have testicles. To breathe. Needs sun and air like a plant. <laughs> All right, there. You got any business at the mine? I think. Now I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry. Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Is is the pit? I assume this is the pit. Dale said, oh, just getting it. This is a story mode, not online. First playthrough. So I played it a long, like when it first came out, some. And essentially I started this game as a new playthrough, but this is near to the end. This is as far as I ever got any time I've played through. So for me, this is, I know what happens. Like I know the end end game of this story but for me like this is the i haven't done any of these side quests yet and i love doing side quests so uh right now i'm doing some more collecting money even though i just went through how collecting money is why i have tuberculosis and blah 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 but i still i was like ooh, a new side quest to collect some money okay it's not like i can get tuberculosis again so oh this time you got aids <laughs> do i really have to Yes. Arthur London there. Here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> Man's dead. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> beat it out of you? You might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek. Just the way I like I'd it. hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knockin'. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. It's got you there. Moral quandary. Is it better to be the dude laughing at the misfortune of others? Or to be the one causing it? You can't really take the moral high ground there. I would love to. I wish I never had to come in here in the first place. But I don't know these tunnels like the back of my ass. I said, get. I said I'm trying. You think I wear this skunk hat because I want to get along with people? Out of the damn oh, way. That's right. Uh huh. Okay, fella. Let's go. Now then, where's his widow's house? I'm sure it'll show up once I go into town. What hell is your problem? What in darnation? Go back to thieving? Hmm? You too are. I'm all providing right. for my family. That's quite an well, argument. you can't provide Enough. for us. I'm not putting on a show for the whole town. That idiot. I love him and I hate him. Every day, covered in soot, coughing half the night. <laughs> He's just scared. 
Good jobs, hard to find. Can't all afford a good job? skunk heads. Taking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's gonna ruin us both. Does he really think Jameson or any of the others give a damn whether he lives or dies? Oh no, I actually came here looking for a different woman. Am I in the right place? Aha! That's where she lives. My apologies, ma'am. I'm gonna go intimidate someone for the money that her dead husband couldn't pay. Now you have a good day. Morning, sir. <laughs> Steve. You'd make a good cowboy, Vaz. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what. I watched uh, plenty of. King of the Hill, which that's not a cowboy, but I just think it's funny. I'll tell you what. Uh, there's also this show called Hell on Wheels, and the main guy in that is played by Anson Mount, and I think that's one of the best roles he's ever played. And one of his favorite things, one of his favorite things that he says, to me anyways, he goes, something like it. People will say something and describe an entire situation. He's trying to be vague, so he'll just go, mm, something like it, something like it, something like that. No, no, something like it. And that's a good one because that's like a cowboy kind of story that's like after the Civil War, and there's, you know, there's still so much of that Civil War tension. Uh, which, if you live in the states that I live in, you still get some of that Civil War tension. I live in Maryland. That's basically the border state. Stuff, I don't wanna go. Home of the Mason Dixon line. I want my daddy. Be brave, sweet angel. Be brave. I'm here for your money. <coughs> uh, Mrs. London Derry. <coughs> Off is dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. Dale, I am. <laughs> this Just great wide Glen big old nation of ours. So it was you. Although I'm not from cowboy territory, nor would I ever claim to be What do you want now? Anything like that. You want my boy's shoes? I think more people would call me a hippie than a cowboy. I just like to do a voice impression. Something no. like it. No. Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. That's how I got tuberculosis. There ain't nothing left, mister. <laughs> Here my choices are. Absolve the debt and give money. Uh, just See how it shined gold say, there? The debt canceled. If you're being a bad player, it would be more silvery. And that's when you see the wolf. In mine, you see the deer more with the antlers, because that's like the good guy. But I still kill. Are you a good I haven't done it in this because I'm just playing story I just stuff. You've done it before he worked himself into the grave. But I've done tons of side missions where I've killed tons and tons of innocent people. But they're like, you know. But you know. Compared to what you could have done. Maybe your friend that lent him the money could do things differently, like not threaten a man. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm sure we get a lot more money that way. I really am. See, that's the thing. The business doesn't work if you keep giving away money. Now, I just happen to have money to give away. I have more money to give away currently than I had when I started, and all I've done, from what I could tell, is give away money. Oh, I looted some people. That kid, that well, they were trying to kill me, but again, it's a nice raffle. Where are we headed now? Home, home on the range. Right, I gotta turn it in. Wrong buttons. 
Go back to camp. Yep. Giddy up. Pardon. It is I thought Maryland was in between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. I'm not sure by the way, I'm more asking. Uh, no, I mean you have the museum that holds the big flag. You wish you were a hippie dude born in 62. <laughs> I'm just living in your shadow, my man. Nah, man. Oh my gosh. I see like the protests. This is actually the first time I've grown my hair out. Just someone called me a hippie the other day. Someone called me a fake hippie the other day. And I was like... I just had never grown my hair up before, and I figured you only live once, so why not? Y'all look a little lost. Uh oh, someone's gonna kill me. Me and my brothers might be able to have. I don't take kindly to that kind of thing. I'm sorry, what were we talking about? They shot my dang hat off. See? Murphy brood. Murphy brood. Ugh. This is what you get. Oh, dynamite. You had dynamite? I guess you wouldn't naturally just throw dynamite at one guy. Open Kentucky bourbon. Some useful stuff. Anyway. Um, Maryland is... Actually right near where Washington DC is actually. That's kind of like carved out of part of Maryland and Virginia. Uh, but we're right on the East Coast, pretty much midway in between the North and the South, essentially, which is why, like, literally, yep. uh, Maryland was put under uh, martial law and stuff while the Civil War was happening and the capital was moved. And, but yeah, DC is real close, like Baltimore, or Baltimore. See, when you're from Maryland, Mary, Maryland. Oh, you're from Baltimore, Maryland? Yeah, but I'm from there, and we say Baltimore, Maryland, because we don't have time for that. Uh, Baltimore and D.C. are probably like an hour apart if you were driving from one to the other and there wasn't much traffic. And I'm kind of like on the outskirts of Baltimore and... But in Maryland, uh, not too far from either of them. Like, to get into the center of either city Who is that? would take... If, like, there was no traffic, probably 30 minutes, but there's usually traffic. Because it's, like, the Baltimore, D.C. metro area. Um, usually you're looking at, like... You want to you wanna plan for traffic, <laughs> essentially. Be who you be, man. You are what you is, Frank Zapp. <laughs> you are what you is. Hey. Ah, you isn't how wrong. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? Mm -hmm. What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you, though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. 
If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get wow. a job! Hell of a time to get self-righteous. You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. <laughs> I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. <laughs> Yeah, it's winding down now. I can see this story is not long. Everyone's dying or getting sent away. He's dying of tuberculosis. Uh, Moogle. Well, I didn't know that. I thought it was down about Kansas where the Confederacy began. Um, well, so Maryland actually has like the Mason-Dixon line, which is considered one of the barriers between... And that's technically on the southern side of the state, but like if you look at where... Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, and everything is on a map. They're like right all together. Pennsylvania's right Ooh. above Maryland. Someone smashed the box. The box. What box? The money box. The money box. Okay. Uh, but like, and Virginia and West Virginia are all part of the Confederacy. And Maryland, that's why it had to be put under martial law and everything was because it's right up in there. And if you look at the shape of it, <laughs> it's... Maryland's kind of shaped like a machine gun, like a submachine gun. It's got like one handle here, one handle there, and a barrel. And uh, then around it is Pennsylvania, Virginia, West Virginia. New Jersey's over there, New York's up here. I mean, yeah, they're actually both a little bit farther away. Uh, it's um, Delaware that's right up, literally like part on the side. So anyway, it looks like someone smashed up our donations box or whatever, which I'm pretty sure I was the only person who put money into anyway. Let's take a look, because it looks like two and a half. I'm... Okay. I'm going to take a... Ten minute... Break, 15 minute break, however long it takes for me to grab a little bit of food. I might bring it back here and eat it during cutscenes um, and use the facilities. But as soon as I get back, I'm just going to put up a waiting screen. But when I get back, we'll go check out what's happening. Oh, we're going to do the, the prison mission. So when I get back, we'll do the prison mission. Here's, here's what I'll do. I'll set that. That's our waypoint. And I will pause this, and I will be back in just a little bit. If you can't stay, thank you for joining us. If you're going to be here, I'll see you very soon.
Oh, sweet relief. Um, so yes, I've grabbed myself some pizza, and I had a couple bites while I was away, but I want to keep things going here, so if during a cutscene you see me, like, chomping on some pizza, maybe, maybe you're into that, I don't know. <laughs> and, um, so I just want to respond to the chat, some of the chat that happened while I was gone. Moogle said, the whole East Coast is shaped weird. Yes. Some states considered Southern on the East Coast are in line with states like Colorado and the West. Yeah, which is not remotely Southern. That's why you have, like, the East Coast. Then you have the... We call most of these, like, the flyover states. But, like, the, the East Coast is, like, chiseled out in certain ways because you got to think about that's where people were landing, like, claiming territory, carving stuff out. Then later, like... A lot of the Midwest and Mid-Atlantic, I guess, were bought in, like, crappy deals with Native Americans where it's like, all right, now you own all that land. And it's like, well, this block is Kansas and this block is, and this block is Utah and this block. They're very much more block shaped and big. And also, in a lot of cases, people didn't want to move there. I learned about a thing called Prairie Madness which is actually a thing, and it's because of the winds on the open plains. Settlers that went to live there were driven insane by the constant howling of the winds. And that's why people didn't want to live there, or they went insane. I, lived, I learned that in a literary class where we read a short story that a woman, or that's, I think a woman wrote about a woman who kills her husband and because of partially because of loneliness and distance, and it's all there but it's like what why did people move there then well because the government was giving people money to claim these lands and to like stake your claim it's ridiculous anyway history lessons may continue if you have more questions and if i know the answers uh but for now i'm gonna get back oh wait also sorry steve said i'll be waiting for your return hey i'm back hey steve uh, Dale said, any of you boys persuaded him to watch the Scotland qualifying goals clip yet? We're going to immerse him in Scottish culture. May as well do it properly and show him the Hampton roar. Well, I took a picture of that comment with my phone. So it's officially on the list of things for me to watch. And I haven't yet. So consider me an old, a partially cultured swine. <laughs> I was going to say uncultured, but I've started watching still games, so. You were watching my Billy Connolly reaction. Oh, good. That's good. I love... I love Billy. I'm looking forward to... Oh, always more Billy. Anyway, let's get back on... It's over, Mr. Morgan. It's all over. <sighs> Pretty fatalistic. It's Sound like you have a disease that's currently Perhaps killing not, you. Mr. Pearson. Where's my horse? Now then, as usual, I need my skunk cat. All right. So glad I remembered I had this hat. And now, I think I already highlighted it. Right, we're doing the prison break, I assume. Ooh. Prison break. Do miss the music. This used to be accompanied by the sweet twanging of guitar, but
You gotta help me. I need medicine. <coughs> Here, drink up. Maybe I'll get another free gun later. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Reckon I was done for there. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm awesome. Oh, I had a bite of that plan over there, and it hit my guts like a freight train. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm here. That little one over there with the pink flowers. I'd stay well clear of that if I was you. What if I can make poison? Yeah, I think you've sold me on that plan. Tell me about it. Yep. Poison weapons. Yep. In games like this, I don't see the need for poison weapons, like I'll just shoot him in the head. Shoot him twice. What am I gonna wait for a poison? It? I'm impatient just following roads to the waypoint. Prison break. What is that? Curse my curiosity. Yep. Prison breaks on hold. There's a stranger. Hello, friend. You okay? Hell. You, you Hell. sick, partner? Uh, it's in Whoa. me. They're in me. Yeah, you're not well, friend. Uh, Butcher's Crick. Butcher's Crick. Uh, where? Uh, Butcher's Crick. Is that where you're from? Butcher's Crick. You want me to take you back, or? They're in. Me. Uh, come on, let me they are in me. What's in him? It's not like I care anymore. Again, what are you gonna give me something worse than my tuberculosis? I went to the doctor. The doctor was like, he didn't say it, but he made it very clear, you're dying now. So what's the cure? What did I say? So the best thing for you would be to go somewhere nice and warm and relax. And that'll cure me? I didn't say that. I said the best thing for you. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Are you? I'm this man saving you from whatever is in you. Assuming you want people to get it out. I'm g not going to do that. I'm going to take you back to your home. And... Oh, trying to creep me out, dude. Oh, butcher. Oh, no. Crick. Where I am? Ah! Uh, I forgot how to slow oh, down. No. Speed up is A, but slow down is right bumper. Does anybody know this guy? Uh -huh. The mule. It's a hell of a name. Any Lemules out there? Yeah, he was in some distress. Bort. 
Yeah, he uh, seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Well, Lemuel, sweet Lemuel, such a nurse man, such a good man. Come here, Lemuel. come on. Yeah, look, yeah, look, yeah. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he he's not well. It's 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 the darkness. It, oh, the darkness. He said it's the darkness. Wait, the Who darkness said? is an awesome band. Well, the they won't be around for years. Well, thank you, sir. Hey, thank, thank you for lim- Please, please, sir. Didn't even lose my skunk head. You got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in darkness. What else are there? That is a suspicious Obadiah phrase. Lets me. Yeah. Love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir, but with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, back to... Why are you late? The prison rescue. Well, I found a man under a bridge. Yep. Kept saying, they're in me, they're in me. So I took him home. Come on. They get your priorities in order. Twang, twang. Let's make sure. Got my guns. I think I got him. Okay, so oh, yeah. that was a good deed. Did you see that? The little white hat popped. Whatever happened just now. No witnesses. Who's that guy? And pray that no one remembers a distinctly skunk-headed man. <sighs> Gotta feed my horse.
What other games do you play? I have Batman games. I play a lot of Borderlands. I used to. Um. It's gonna be violent. Tons of games. I play some classic games like uh, Donkey Kong Country and Diddy Kong Country, I'm coming. which is Donkey Kong Country like too. Said, Mega Man X. You got a boy. Um, Andrew Kazooie is one of my favorites. I insist. I like a lot of one-player games. Insist all you like ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Taylor was. She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See there, you heard him. Now let's go. <laughs> but, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. No witnesses. Be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Good, I got Thank my guns. You. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Yeah. How many times, Marston? Oh yeah, you start the game off by saving John uh, okay. Marston from over. wolves. So now I guess this is near the end of the game, because... Coming full circle. By saving we him did? again? I don't know. Let's head for that watch temple. Take out the guard. I'm guessing I'm supposed to do that silently. See, there's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay. Okay. with you standing there. Hey, you're in the way. Wait, shit. I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Okay. Want this gun. All right. The alarm's been set off. Do we not care? Oh, okay. I have tuberculosis. This is not good for me. Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You. Mister, you know John Marsden? So polite. He, he ain't he ain't working today. 
Put the gun down. Where Wait. did he come from? No. You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marston? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. What? Oh, no, you don't. What is our plan? Come on, partner. <clears throat> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. But my golden gun. I'm sorry, ma'am. I just wish it actually one shot killed every time. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. <laughs> they're, they're not going to let you do this. Well, that's going to be up to you, my friend. I can't see this going well. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Him straight up to the front gate. We better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Hold your fire! Stay down! Shit. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's inside, did he? They got Milliken! Got him and gonna kill him! Unless you bring me John Marston! Right now! You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, Three! Um, uh, Milliken, is it? <laughs> yes, How many's in a minute? <laughs> I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. I'm okay, terrible sir. under pressure. <laughs> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. <laughs> 11, 12, 13, Faster. 14, 15, 16, 17, Now hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Count down. Don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> hey. Hey. John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying <laughs> once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Oh my Let's gosh. Go. <laughs> Take my pistol. Let's clear these and make a run for it. Am I supposed to cover them? Nah, let's just catch up. Here comes some more! Get down! Been a while, John! You're telling me! 
What took you so long? I'll explain later. Was that you in the balloon? Yeah. <laughs> was that you in the balloon? <laughs> yeah. Believe me, that was my one. Yeah. Believe me, that was my one. and only time flying. It's time to finish this. Not my best toss. You're dead, you bastard. Guys, resilient. Thought it was way past that time. Like well, my skunk hat. No, Get my fire, my skunk hat. The board. Let's go. Serpentine! Okay. You, you're yelling conflicting things at me. Hold them off so we can get to the boat. Arthur, let's go! It's like, I do you want me to kill them or do you want me to run? Here's the boat. You know I have tuberculosis, right? Oh, I seem to need rescuing, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You That's just relax. Definitely Enjoy true. Yourself, John, leave the real work to them. It can still handle it. Thanks. What an odd transition. <laughs> you know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Right. Oh, that's us told them. Uh, hey, Arthur. I love Thank Arthur, you. man. Don't mention it. Let's go. So wry. <laughs> we should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. Right. You know that was a pr so okay. What the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. 
She that was a prison. Escape. When they got Hosea. Hosea. That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. Mm. No. What a goddamn... Mess. And then we... Hat. What about... The, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. <laughs> it's a long story. This is the third time we've all heard it. Things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north. Near Rono Grids and some caves there. Yeah. The Pinkertons caught up with us again. And we some had to inbred mutants we yeah. used to live. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. <laughs> so she's dead too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so. Might not be the hero's welcome, you're imagining. <laughs> so much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Sorry, I'm going to pause real fast. Wooly Pie, hello. Howdy, feller. I just purchased this here game this day. I want to warn you, I'm in the later stages of the game, so if you're worried about spoilers or anything like that, just, I'm near the end. I'm thinking maybe while I'm playing today I might get to the end, but I don't know. So, or beware. Maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Ah. We don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. <laughs> Guess not. Cutscene. I was that close to a cutscene. you we would John mm. Pizza. what are you doing here it's good to see you too partner I meant I hadn't sent for you yet I went <laughs> but I said that yeah I know what you said yeah the spoilers right now <laughs> is that so yes and when spring and John brings the law down on all of us what then Arthur. Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty. Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. Yeah, this John, is all spoilers. This is near the end. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They, they was talking Just to him in Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Yeah. I have a feeling we're getting much closer to the end here. If you missed it before, depending on your morality, if you have a good morality, you see the deer. If you have a bad morality, you see a wolf. I've been seeing the deer. Because I've been doing all these good deeds and side quests. Oh, I can't ignore sorry. them. That was miles away. It makes up for all the murder. <laughs> apparently. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. 
Thanks, Mary Beth. Guess we don't have that anymore. Wow, one dead or alive. Guess that's what I get for robbing a bank. Um I guess I'll just go do that, but Dead or alive. I wonder if I can pay that bounty off. I'm going to try doing that. Let's see here. I prefer not to have a bounty. So, Emerald Ranch was outside the bounty range. You can pay off bounties. If you can get to, like, the railroad, any ticket clerk or whatever can just, you can pay off a bounty, usually, unless this is part of the story that I can't pay this one off. Your guy at this point has scales for skin. Yeah, he's not looking good, and he's not sounding good. It's another reason I want to pay off this bounty, like apparently my medicines and refilling my health and stuff aren't as effective anymore. Pain. People keep asking me to do really strenuous things. Emerald Ranch. This is also the place where if you steal wagons, you drop them off in that barn, but they only give you like... You are now at your minimum weight. Interesting. I'm trying to remember, okay, right. The train station... ...is yonder. Nice to see you. Hey, Bounty. Glad to see you on the up and up. Cannot pay it off. Okay, so that's just part of the story. Thanks. Hey. Okay. I'm sure Micah was right next to one of those. Yeah. So, Stagecoach. Ansburg. Let's progress this story. Let's take a ride. Let's get right over it. Thanks. Anytime. How's it going? Traffic jam. We got a four horse pile up. Rise and shine, soldier. Here we are. Thank you, Mister. You help me out. I have taken my time with it for the most part, Dale. That's why I got like my gold guns and stuff. Like I trick stuff out. And I'm just at the point where I'm like, I'm I wanna see how the story ends. Like I wanna I wanna actually get to it. And I'm feeling like I'm nearing it. And I know kinda what happens after that, but 
Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? You should cough in his what face. What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. Yeah, and not inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in San Denis. <sighs> now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. <laughs> we don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Art. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Jeez. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> well, I can make do. Well, I can make do with my pistols if it comes down to it, but. I was just regretting. I usually like to have a shotgun. So, what are we gonna see? I don't always use it, but when I need to, to it just. He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil. His law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. <laughs> so why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Yeah, Dale, the... He said, I did that too, then I started over to do all the challenges and find all the wildlife. Yeah, I was streaming for, like, one of the first times playing this game. But actually, the, like one of the first times streaming it, not the first times playing it, I ended up on the island, and I know there's tons of exotic wildlife there that you can't get anywhere else. But I was just trying to get through more of the story at that point, and I was just like, the completionist part of me is just like, losing it right now. But, I kind of, I was like, I'm dedicated to just getting through it at this point. But it, like, again... That's part of what makes this such a great game. And one of the reasons, like, I don't necessarily put down money for a pre-order. It's kind of rare that that happens. But if they said Red Dead Redemption 3, and I never played the first one. This is the first one I played. If they said Red Dead Redemption 3 is coming out, I'd be like, I pre-order. I, I want to play this game. It's great. Arthur, you're going to blow our cover. Supposed to be sneaking, I guess. What are we doing? I missed. Did I go with the fishing rod? Arthur, get behind something before you're spotted. Am I not? Oh, from this side. Haha. <laughs> ah. Uh. Was not paying attention to the instructions. Dick caught in ceiling fan. It's 
a modern looking ship. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. We are very right, close. Sir, send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? <laughs> Didsbury. I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. One Cornwall. fig. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You. This game has had Dutch walk out and just explain his way out of things. But I don't know how much longer that's going to last. robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I'll do no such thing! This is about to go terribly. You sure? Good. Uh -huh. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! Noise! up on more dynamite. Chewing tobacco, that's got to be better for my tuberculosis than smoking a cigar. Come on, right this way, up the stairs. Get a move on, Arthur. I have advanced tuberculosis. I don't know why I haven't shared that with you. Fans! 
snipers. Finally put that bastard on a mission for good. But you put that to Getting my way is what you Yeah, apparently an escape horse died. Good to know. Okay, look out for horses. I guess I won't only way. You'll see. run Trust outside me. this time. Trust you. You sure you got the Miss Morgan? Shut the hell up. Come ahead. Follow me. This way. Which way? Following you this time. What's the plan, Dutch? More up top here. Gun them down, and let's get the hell out of this place. Sweet. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boy, yeah, the Moogle. I thought that was a Gatling gun too. I was like, <laughs> where is that? I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. Yeah. I just want to take the time to refill. Some whiskey or something. Gin. Choke it down. Look out! We got more of
They're trying to cut us off again! Go left! Lose them through the river! You screwed up! Stop! You screwed up. Sends a message to the others. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later <laughs> Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company. They signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike. You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, can we just kill we him? Talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? Cornwall, that be? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. My goodness. So what do we got? A letter. Okay. We got a letter. Reverend Swanson has a mission for me. And then, of course, there's Maka. Should find some more dynamite, but I don't need dynamite. I just enjoy hucking it at people. So, let's start with a letter and then go from there. Black Lung. That's right. Gin. How are you, boy? Not gin and tonic, just gin as a tonic. Okay, you know what? It's gone cat. Stop it! Stop it! Just go away! Stop it! Mister? Leave me alone. Like, I asked him, but he, but he won't. <sighs> I, I, I'm feeling very abandoned. You know, very ignored. 
See, I, I asked for, for, for a message, and he gave me the whole world, but no signal I can understand. Yeah. All these, all these people, and, and none of them quite right. That's very frustrating. <laughs> yeah. the, the whole world. Wasn't Preach. That enough? No. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at all. <laughs> That's a problem. I'm so, I'm so greedy. I'm, I'm awful. What? That it? What's the point of that? know why you were doing what you were doing. Let's go, boy. I don't know why I'm wearing a skunk on my head. I just noticed on the map it was like, uh, hey, here's something interesting. And I was like, I mean, interesting, maybe my time and... find that letter dear sir you were once very kind to Bo and myself and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness, but I have nowhere else to turn and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. Hmm. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? I wasn't expecting that. Okay, and also you see that sad-faced girl right there? So this Braithwaite Manor is like a plantation and they're keeping a, I think, mentally retarded chick locked up in, like, an outhouse. And that's apparently what that symbol represents on the map. So I'm going to go down here and see if that has anything to do with that. Got to do these things before I die. Oh, it's just a letter. Shooter. Oh, it's just a letter. No, and I'm gonna fast travel down there. If I can. Oh, can't get too close to him. Start a mission for the Reverend. The drunk Reverend. I'm just gonna keep playing this until I beat the game. Side quests and all. Great Wave Manor. Me and my skunk hat. When's the next opportunity for murder? So, probably during this escape, because this is like a bunch of confederate-loving redneck idiots. Uh, and they're probably going to try and kill me for help. Because it's like a Romeo and Juliet type situation. There was like a dude on one side and a chick on the other side of these two families that were feuding. We tried to take advantage of both of them. Our gang did. And it ended as it typically did with people getting shot and us riding out of town and establishing a new base and so i got a letter from the chick that's like blah, 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 which adds up to 
Help us shoot our way out of this place. Road station is where I meet her? Oh, I shouldn't have gone to... Great with me. It's still going to be closer. Once I... Actually get there. Oh, look. Oh, right. Yeah, no, it also ended with us burning the place down, killing everyone. Oh, it says I meet her right there. See? Mm hmm. Someone back there wants to kill me. Just ride away from that. Leave it in the proverbial dust. Now that was acrobatic of you. Don't know why you did it. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, well, that's you what lovely, she said. lovely man. Right, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's it's all good, dude. A minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they all right. killed her. Those pigs. She's okay. a suffragette. I don't know. My cousins, probably, or or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters. Men. <laughs> Lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Now save me, ma'am. Can ma you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Okay. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe what an a bunch age. of both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Of course. Oh, wonderful. Now I go to Rhodes. Oh, so I'm taking her to Rhodes. Okay. So Rhodes was involved. I'm in your hands. We're giving you Just half credit. Me. Excuse me. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. Just a reminder that everything's made up and the points don't matter. That's half a point to Dale for Rhodes. And Bo's just waiting at the station. On the roads again. Show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well, Riding in the moonlight. Right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning? Everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has That's to come Darth out of this Vader. awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind okay, us. Okay, so even when I'm playing... A virtual really game, can. the deer but, try to get hit by the yeah. vehicle I'm in. As far as it goes, in real life, that happens yeah, all the time, by the way. Don't look back. Deer. Make something decent of your life. I'm pretty sure a lot He's of deer are suicidal. Man, isn't he? Bo. There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> Only half a point, you miser. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh. He's a lot of things, but... <laughs> We're here. 
He, he'll be out at the front. <laughs> You're lucky to have Will that. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just, just to the first stop? <sighs> Fine. Hey guys, we're gonna ride on a train now. Side quests. They take up time. Still wearing a skunk cap. Yeah, here's our Romeo. What's so great about him? Don't say he doesn't have tuberculosis. Don't you say that he doesn't have tuberculosis. He doesn't have tuberculosis. Oh, I knew you were going to say he doesn't have tuberculosis. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, off is going to join us. I think we need the support. Rich people can spare. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We we can't what? stand seen. What? Yeah. Thank I'm getting fleece. You. We'll meet you on the platform. Yeah, that's why I would have a fleece hat, but I get fleeced so often. I have to wear a skunk. Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. This good. guy. Not terribly. But good to see you. Hey. No. Hey. No, you right. Oh, good. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. Who are you calling a Yankee? I want to come back here without giving you a whip. We should have done this last time. That's my Get favorite skunk hat. Go to your woman. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. You're going to get her. Oh, now there's only one in you. Ah, crap. Ah. B to punch, X to block. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cross, cross. Grapple, grapple, grapple! <laughs> block. I will get on the train after I get my hat. Goodbye, Rhodes. Hello, future. <sighs> All right, all done. That my skunk hat. Got there, son. I know, charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how to life. Oh, my lord. <gasps> it's what? not it's over. My second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn, goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewel? I knew you had some damn jewels. They're coming from over the hill. You must have. You must have all the jewels in the state. The amount of your. Is that my horse? No! Get out of here, my horse. I don't want you to die. I like my horse. I like most horses. I try to shoot the people. Virtual horses and virtual people, of course. You guys seen the movie Free Guy? That's a whole different spin. See this guy? Sully, I don't see how anyone could do 
anything worse to your family than what you've already done to yourselves through inbreeding and cousin loving. I'm hungry. For rum. Look! Is that the driver? He's abandoning <laughs> us! Driver's abandoning us. Who's Old gonna time. drive the train? Old Todd, all right. Time for Thank the main character up. to step up for the oh, first time since ten minutes ago. Okay, so that's how you ring the bell. Oh, A is accelerating. I'm driving a train. See, this is why you do side missions. I'm driving the train! <laughs> reverse, reverse. Oh, ring the bell. I did like, uh, maybe it's from watching Thomas the Tank Engine when I was a kid, or playing with toy train sets when I was a kid. But the satisfaction that that has brought me is absolutely insane. Look out! Driving the train, y'all. All right, Steve, take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, no, I know. It's been good talking to you. I've been glad to have you here. And I understand, it's been a long time. I had my day slated to do this. Like, what are you gonna do today? Play Red Dead Redemption 2, That's what I'm doing. So I was prepared for this. It's a genuine cutscene here. It was actually my mission for that long to drive the train. I was just... But boy was that fun. For me. Again, that's why you do the side missions. Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. Teet, teet. I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old... Family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Accepted. Thank you. Now, you know what? I'll let poor people off the hook all the time. You know relatives show up. That but these two are from two horrible, hey, rich families, so I don't mind yeah. taking your money. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They it's got all money, they'll fake pay you on arrival. Cares. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, um. You carry protection on a journey like this? Ah. I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes Shotgun. Hey! 
Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. <laughs> yeah! Good guy points. Mission complete. The course of true love. That was fun and random. From a letter. So, the Reverend is at camp. That's another story mission. Let's do that. And... We're not going to ride the whole way there. We will fast travel. Yeah. I need to get to the wilderness. Beaver Hollow is where we're at now. It doesn't tell you where your camp is. You have to actually remember where you... <laughs> which shouldn't be that difficult, but every once in a while I'm like... Wait, where's our camp now? So we move camps. And you just have to remember the name of the place. I'm not even sure Beaver Hollow was right. We were in the caves of Beaver... Well... Look at that. Gondor is just on the other side of that. It's amazing. Later, Steve. Steve's been Steve is here for a while. Had some good times with Steve. Phrasing. Morning. Morning. Where's our stew? Now, I think at this point in the game, you just don't get... There used to be benefits, like a cook fire with stew and coffee and, oh, party around the campfire. But I think we're near the end where it's like you're dying and there's no more coffee and everyone's dying and... What's up? <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging Yes, you do. Times. You have tuberculosis. You know that. Yes. Very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls. Freedom. Why the hell would you go to New York but first? first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. Okay. Pardon me for interrupting. Uh, I wanted to re reply to Dale, who said, Do you play an instrument, dude? You got a bass player look about you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I'll take that. And I played, I did play bass for a very short amount of time. Well, I tried to learn bass kind of on my own, but I played trumpet. And piano, uh, my mother insisted. I have an older brother, a younger brother, my sister's the youngest. M myself and my younger brother, and my older brother, we all play piano. 
and I play the trumpet, my older brother plays guitar, my younger brother excels at the piano, and guitar, and several other instruments, very musical family, but myself mostly, I actually sing at times, not now. Actually, I have sung several times during the stream, but... No, um, and my sister, she played, what did she play? She played the flute, she played all kinds of stuff. I can't even keep track. And my cousins, I brought a friend, Arthur. my hello, cousin who just hello. got married, Dutch. This is they're Eagle both Flash. music teachers. His and father is a great chief. Charles and I, we, um, pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. Dutch Van and now this is happening. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. I don't know if that's father. a compliment. Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered. I don't know if that's a compliment. Well, it's better than Fat Mitch Hedberg. Or is it? I don't know. I like them both. I'm fine with both. And, uh... I'd rather be f slightly overweight than overdose so and i love mitch hedberg by the way so for too much been lied to too much now they've taken our horses who the infantry division posted at fort wallace why colonel favors is a liar and a murderer his people won't stop until we're all dead without horses we cannot hunt without hunting we will starve this is another act of war i see that you men have helped me before I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah. Arthur is just like... go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. Dying. Yes. Come along. We can get the more horses. I know. I understand. Yeah, that wouldn't be the difficult at all. But I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. These bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can good. be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton. Sacrifice the Indians. Us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone. The government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. 
Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. This map. Okay. No. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Just trying to Let's grab my guns. Nightfall. You never know. Constantly leaving right. me without my shotgun. Let's head out. Whatever. Oh, what a surprise. They want me to paddle. You're paddling wrong. We need to get that boat ashore. Paddle I better. Think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, border. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Easy does it. I mean, good luck. Are you not coming with- what are we doing? What's happening? If you're not coming on board, why am I paddling? Can I ask that question? Why am I paddling and then exerting myself further? I think whoever's staying on the boat can be the paddler. Well, paddle to the side of the boat and then get on the boat and then also when you get off the boat, you're gonna start paddling the boat again. Apparently, that wasn't a good enough paddle. Okay. You grab him. I can't get any closer than that. Where's the hitbox? <laughs> okay, thank. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Try not to kill anyone? Can I suss him up? Okay, didn't he say try not to kill anyone? That's just bullshit. They tied him up. I thought that's what I was trying to do. I have the horses under control. You go up front. I'm gonna go up front and check on the anchor. What you want I should do? You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up and hurry. Oh, that'll be good. The 
seem to be going pretty fast, Tuds. I'm trying. We're headed to those rocks. Hold on! Maybe you should stick to trains. What is wrong with you? They're on tracks. The boys all right back there? Yeah, I think so. We just a have a boat. boat. Horses, boots, Crash. Boys, yes, here. that's how we ended up on that island. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. We need Can you go after the others? to round okay. up the swimming. And you want me to get on this swimming horse. Hello there. Come on. Yes. Now let us go to the shore. Over here, apparently. This makes sense. Who planned this? Like, when you're doing the game design, it's like, well, we've done every other kind of nonsense. Why not just have him mount the swimming horse and then just... Whatever. Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur right. needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Shut up, Charles. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. A million new missions. Rainsful. All right, now who's this? Oh, that's a chick. Ugh. Well, I'll probably check that out just as I always do. Uh, Obadiah. Return and check on Obadiah. Stranger in Van Horn. Sadie. Idealism and pragmatism for... Oh my gosh, what a whirlwind of new options. Where am her? Obadiah. The name Obadiah. Let's check on Obadiah. 
close too. Actually, that one's super close. Let's check that. Yep. What a mess. Things going. Howdy, partner. Bertram, please. No. Bertram, say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does lack Miss Marjorie. But yes, it's and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to, so I can get on with whipping that snot nose run into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Go taking on. them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. <laughs> well, uh, no, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom in the back. Oh, fuck it, he. No, Bertram, 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 woof, woof. Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you'll eat him. Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Sherry. Bertram. Easy, big guy. Uh, Bertram, get a uh, I can't do anything he's when he's in this place. Stop him! Man, Bertram. I have tuberculosis. Easy, boy. Not Shouldn't nice. be doing this. Get back at him! Uh, I don't want to do this. What are you coming over here for? Not you fair. don't stop that, mommy. I'll give you a spanking. <gasps> Ouchie! That's one of the most disturbing mean, things. Man. You're gonna behave. <clears throat> Mister, I thought you was gonna deal with this. Still big and tough. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> What's happening? Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we <laughs> Come here, Bertram. Oh, oh, no you should looks think about who you're serving. Does. Give me a beer, will you? No one cares for you like I do. Y'all got a sarsaparilla? Hmm? But <laughs> he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here with you. Right, he have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram, like sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him.
Come along, Bertram. What? <sighs> Find Magnifico. Is it a midget? I'm sorry, a wee dwarf! Now I've compounded the felony by calling the dwarf wee. Ah. Alright. I'm off to find the other wee dwarf. Oh, Billy, no. Mister? Yeah, can he tell that story? Why not? You can he use the word dwarf. Mr. Connolly, I was absolutely de not delighted. No, it's the other thing. Sad to see you resort to using the word. Dead. I myself identify as a dwarf. I'm six foot four. Curvy roads, man. Oh my goodness, I need to feed my horse. I have a dirty root. It'll take more than that, boy. There you go. Works surprisingly well. Then again, my horse doesn't have tuberculosis. Unlike some people. Yeah. Looking at you, main character. Boy. What's that mean? It's across the creek. Yeah. Or swamp. Well, I'm wanted. Wanted. Tuberculosis. Uh -huh. Red Dead Redemption. Two. I don't know much about morals. Got a skunk on my head. Hello, mini man. Whoa, that's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! are you magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her, and uh, you know that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't you? Oh, that's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. <sighs> hey, partner, come back here. Oh no, chase after him. Oh. What is this? Catch the 
Dwarf. Should I get my lasso? Look, you got the wrong end of this. Hey, will you talk? I'm going it alone. Who are you? This is Professor Flitwick. What the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. Oh, <coughs> that's a neat trick. It's steak dinners very and good, dancing girls good. with I'm magnificent teleport. Come here. Wingardium Leviosa. Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Magnifico! She ain't as bad as all that. Turn himself into a newt. He turned me into a newt! I got better. Why not search? Over here, dummy. Good. Now I'll lasso you. Why well, you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah. Damn it. So long, dummy. Where are you? You little... Oh. Really? Oh. Really? Ah, too bad about that train! Boost, get on the train. White way. Really? You got enough for two. He was holding a bunny. Fanny tells it. You spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are gonna be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back uh, together. Uh, uh, it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here. No one said that they were splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. <laughs> half man and a half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? 
I don't know. And there's another rabbit running by. Which is definitely gotta be, come on, a reference to Of Mice and Men. But also, Dale said, you can go to the theater in San Dene after this mission and see their act. I do not have even the time for that. I, I'm sure if you're interested in seeing what their act is, you can look it up online. I got to... Unless that's a side quest. I love doing the side quests. Um, I do. I actually do. Hamish Sinclair? No. See, I'm not gonna go fishing. I don't care to... Actually, I don't even care to figure that out. Let's talk to... Sadie? She always likes to shoot stuff. Okay. I'm closer to Micah, but Micah... Hey, boy. Uh, yeah, Micah. Welcome to Lemon. It's the mine. V-O-T, V-O-Y, what does that mean? I'm seeing this pop up in my chat. I don't know what you're trying to tell me. Or that's just nonsense. There are abbreviations, I don't know them. And if it's nonsense, well, then everyone else feel free to ignore. By everyone. I mean the five of us. At this point. And I want it! Did or that. I guess I can't say on a steel horse I ride. This is just. On my horse I ride. I'm currently wanted dead or alive. By participating in karma. Is is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? Oh look, you can steal money from him. Mm. Well, I'm gonna give him some money. There? there you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a look, saint. Yes, look at how good I am. People in the world like I murder you. tons God of people, bless. but it's fine. It's every once in a while I do this, things like that. See, that's how. Actually, that's pretty hilarious. Way to get Rockstar Games, because that's such a skewed view of morality. And it's such an accurate... ...view of how a lot of people see morality. Very philosophical. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come about on. time. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this.
I'd rather wear my skunk hat. Okay. Yeah, no, that's why I largely Dale talking only with letters is BS. A. Well, don't we just look the part? Well crafted joke, my friend. I appreciate the, the humor there. We keep our weapons holstered. Our disguises on. And also, that's why I've and largely been in about us. ignoring that stuff. Mrs. Adler, it looks fake. Might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. Like, if there's something <laughs> real to tell me, tell me. Shape. I'll talk with, I'll, like, I'll converse and way. we'll figure it out. Boom, hung me up. Seems like some butchered me. I don't mean bot nonsense. In this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as uh, I remember, Mr. Morgan. There it is. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. Then, well... <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours, I miss the old earth. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. Because that's why you mostly this. use cinematic camera with the horse. It's hard to control where he walks when that camera angle keeps changing and then your direction keeps changing based on the angle, the angle of the camera. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Yes. I hosted... One of the side missions was to help a guy do the first death by electrocution. Hey. Electric All chair right. thing. Good. And then while he's trying yeah. to fix it while it's happening, because it's like horrifying and not working, he dies, and then the guy dies. The and you have to voice. shoot the guy. Yes, oh. I think so. What this surprise. game's nuts. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. I have bullet oh, holes in my head. Here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. I'm gonna take another second here to just compliment Dale. Dale Atkin. Aitken? I don't know how to say that. Whatever. Talking only with letters is BS. I like that. <laughs> I like that style of humor. Go brush that horse, officer. Well done. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Down where? I was trying to show the viewers your faces while you were talking. Oh, that guy's wearing green. He's an Odriscoll. Trust me, my family are descended from the O'Cassidys. Where are the Cassidys? And, uh... How many? Enough. So what do you think? We're a widespread gang. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Oh, yeah, Cassidy. We face worse than this before. Sure. Duffy's, Murphy's. Yeah. Oh, it's a big family. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Unless you cough on somebody and they're like coughing on me. Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. 
gossip, but I hear Grover's been sleeping next to the pigs again. Not again. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Oh. That's what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to kill somebody. Right? Start talking about family histories. Nonsense. Hello. Gallows, gallows. Which way was he? I don't trust someone. I'm glad that the character is as confused as I am. Good. I think I went the right way. Got my knife. Sweet knife. Do it silently. Forget what he said to do silently. Kill him silently. What's this then? A gun case. This is how they. I'm sure they're gonna frame me for murder. A gun case. This is a hate crime. I have tuberculosis. Show me that soft underside. Where'd I get that knife? Welcome. There goes your escape plan. Justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. I hear you, but usually you can pick up a hat. You're not gonna let me pick up a hat. Robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges. This are is not a court. Where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your Damn sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. <sighs> this is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. This is our gang stopping Gentlemen, his gang from saving him. Are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Wow, see. <laughs> Stupid bitch. If you can hear me, shoot some of these old fresh fools. I'd love to. I don't know why it made me track you. Oh, he was already dead, wasn't he? See, this is the lack of respect. I don't know how to get out of this. Apparently I have to stay in this mood. Don't know how to zoom out if that's possible. On who? Where? 
merchants. We're rooting for the wagon. Isn't that okay? Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. It's like who didn't I kill? <laughs> I definitely shot him in the head too. So. <laughs> Dale pronounced as if a part of your body was sore <laughs> and you're welcome oh look I got my hat back I was glad cause that how you get on Arthur penis hat <laughs> Like I'll put on a skunk hat, but... Okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up, and now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I, nonetheless, must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way when I'm with you. Why not? Let's look at it. A picture of us younger together. It's a woman who along the storyline, you can either choose to help or not to help. I always choose to help her. And it wouldn't have mattered either way, because you get that tuberculosis. Because you're an outlaw. And the morality of an outlaw... Anyway, I should get to the... You, you thought so. Now, a bunch of new missions popped up. I haven't even finished the side missions yet. Although... Going back to that chick seems stupid. Although, now that I just got that letter from Mary... <laughs> Sweet Mary. Dutch is taking you. Yeah, yeah. And I have this horrifying completionist streak in me. It makes me want to do that. This is fishing. I'm not going to go fishing. But as I said to someone else, all I had slated for today, I actually set it aside was play this game for hours so it seems like that's what I have done will do oh no I'm sorry I'm not going up to that Alright, I'm gonna go to that guy. In the unknown region. And while I do, I'm gonna check the chat. The... Hello, Arthur. It's all good. Calm down. Goodness. Can't ride a horse. In the camp. I guess I strayed too far from the road, which is apparently right here. Trying. Okay. 
Here we go. All right, this should be taking me to my destination. I was told he gets TB right at the end. Evidently not as right at the end as I thought. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought as well. Apparently, like, within this chapter, I have time to do things. I'm, I'm... I've decided to forego the rest of... I'm not going to say every possible side mission, but there's one right now for me to go fishing with a dude, and I'm like... And it's a legit side mission. It's not just like a little... No, it's like, hey, go... So I'm just doing the uh, actual story missions at this point. I've foregone... I, I've decided to forego the side missions. I'm, I'm literally now just going to finish it. Because I didn't know there would, be, there would be that many more. I didn't think there would be either. Every time you look at this guy's face, half the time he gets in a fight, he's coughing up blood, he looks... Someone else said, he's like, he's a scale, he's something... He's something it's like a lizard man. It's no good. I've stuck with the skunk cap. Standing by that decision. That's not a good sign. Go with my horse. I like this horse. Get out of here. Scat. Is that that wolf man? There's like a side quest about some wolf man. If he called those wolves down on me. Uh, so let's get some meat, chew some tobacco, feed the horse. It's all right, boy. Let's follow these guys, I guess. Look out for the wolves! So, I guess within the story, yes, this is near the end, but there's still, you do, you never have, well, you, yeah, I guess you have to get to a certain mission to actually finish it, and I haven't necessarily done that. So, you know, it's like you're in this chapter, you have tuberculosis. You never have to finish it, necessarily. If you never played any more storyline missions, you'd just be sick, you'd be... And that's also look out, look out! How this po like how it all ends. Obviously, he dies, but that doesn't mean you have to completely stop playing within this game. But if you don't know how that's done, I mean, they you switch into a different character essentially. And the thing about online is once you get into online. You have to deal with, like, other players, like, other actual players. <laughs> I'm... fine not doing that. Just like in real life, they make... everything that should be easy a hassle. So it's like, go to this location. In this, it's a hassle just because I have to actually get there. Not that big of a deal. In, like, online, it'd be like, Oh, I killed you. I feel like I'm not taking the best route. And I said it. I didn't listen. I guess that's that. Well said. Where are you? 
raining balls flying what was it Lord okay rains fall right on Howdy there stranger no I'm not gonna hey, race you he wants to race. Hold on a minute now. We're talking to you. Do people think that that works? Goodness. Except, like, in terms of actual amount of places crossed, that's like in this game a couple states. I just traversed. state or so and you oh good another camp no running in camp or maybe they have reservations about it's kind of rude for me to say I guess That's a good Come question. In. Dude, white person pro. How do you knock on a tent? <clears throat> or a TP? <coughs> or a, you know what? Stop while you're behind. You don't sound very well. Kudos. Nah, what are you, a medicine nah, man? I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious, and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men. I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But, uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <laughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Whoa. <laughs> Just well, what I, I needed. You, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. <coughs> honor, sir. 
How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. Ma. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Sure, let's be quick. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Whoa! Yeah! Even just a couple hours of your time. Are you not? Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see just you both soon. Just another mission. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Oh, sweet. I love herbs. Do you have any spices? If we can get enough, I know how to make a dope chicken. Hurry up, Mr. Morgan. You know what? It's only 5 o'clock. 5.30. Yep. Yep. Just like, I've been doing it for so long. I was like, yeah, but you Come set on. aside the day for Let's it. Let's stay together. And this guy's about to get me some herbs. I'm going to stay at ah. it. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? You say wolves, bro? And beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. All right. I'm sorry. If there are ever wolves around when I'm just riding by myself, they just like attack. They howl and then they attack me. This guy's like, check out those wolves over there. I'm one with land, and that's why they're feasting on that corpse and not this attacking me. This is what me. I try to teach my son. Whoa! Well, now you're trying to teach a white man. Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. Okay. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. Yeah. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it I with I feel like that's son. a rather stunted view Dutch of things. Dutch got this crazy plan. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. You were saying before you rode off? Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. 
just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Be careful. There are some steep turns up ahead, but the views are beautiful from up here. Things that bad on a reservation? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Many of the elders are sick, and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Well, we ain't done much to calm the situation. But I have to continue to seek to resolve matters through peaceful negotiation. War would be futile. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. Okay. We can talk more about this later. I can't wait, dude. Um, so actually, in comparison to most missions, this one is kind of about, like, reflection. And we are getting to the end of his life. This will combine well. This guy's actually picking medicines to try and help me, but tuberculosis doesn't have a cure right now, and all that'll do is kind of help me. And we're talking about his son, we're talking right about there. the trouble that the I'll gang is in. in it's kind of an interesting... And it's a story mission, so it's like you, something you have to go through is going on a retrospective ride with this guy, so... I also want to get to the... But it'll help to keep your strength up. Bang, bang, shoot him up. Bang, bang, right, shoot him go. up. Destiny. Not much further now. So, you were just talking about something. To the moon. Your people are lucky to have you. I'm not so sure about that. And especially if you're really attached to your character, because your character will die at the end. It's my sickness. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's going to take more than that. I saw a doctor, and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then... Maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Much as I do appreciate it. I was trying to play the story. So. Do it. Okay. It's just up ahead. It's that damn uh, immediate gratification. What's happened? No. It can't be. I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. I bet it was the white man. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? Us. Uh, Morning, pipe. There must be some clue as to what happened here. A ceremonial pipe, you say? Finally. Something interesting. Army flask. It's ruined.
whiskey soaked logs. Uh, there's some Oof. logs here they must have used as kindling. Who's wasting the whiskey? Okay, okay, alright. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, I was just looking at all that. They couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. Yonder. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. Uh, they moved us here. They've taken everything we had. Still had three them. treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. No, what if, well, what oh, if I kill? There's a guy with a skunk hat. Not what if, if I get it back. There we go. Get it back? Not if I can help. Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, but no one will be any the wiser. No one will be any the wiser. Would you Michael do that? Jackson's Well, you can't go, trust. they know why you'd come. I am like... I, uh... Dying of tuberculosis. Don't have any money. Nah, don't worry about it. Money. How much dynamite do I have left? One. Wait a minute. Oh, just one. Oh, the hell? Uh, other explosives? Okay, hatchet. And my pistols. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. Well. I'll, I'll have you know. Sure they never even know I'm there, but actions don't always go the way you plan. I'm a, nearly the max positive morality you can get to, and I've never worried about murdering people. I just did a bunch of side quests, and they're like, that is so nice. And I upgraded the camp. Upgrading the camp? You, to do that, you have to donate to the camp. That's considered a good deed. I don't know how you beat play as a bad guy. Like, you'll never be able to fast travel. Doesn't seem worth it. Although... It is kind of interesting to see how that morality plays into the story, like... Although, I'm gonna... I guess... what? Knife? Try to hurt anyone. Doing what? Sacred items, okay. Do, do, do... Do, do, do... I heard old favors was trying to get him transferred. I don't like him much. He always seemed like a decent enough fellow to me. Exactly. That's the problem. Mm. Monroe went to West Point. Favors never made it. Yeah. I'm sure. Engines. It just seems so silly, though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? My uncle married an Indian anyway. She seemed nice enough. An Indian? Sure looked like one. 
Come up near the Canadian border someplace. Canada. They got Indians in Canada. Tons of them. And French folk too. Oh. Is France near Canada then? No. France is near... Huh? Is near France. Well, it's in France. Indians is from here. Where are you from? Hell, fire! We got hey, ah! going. Yeah. That's it for you! Now then, to look for them sacred items. Mission's taking a half an hour anyway. Time for stealth. <laughs> Oops. Steroids. Uh, uh, actually, it was a uh, bitters. Somehow. your things I think yes thank you I'm very sorry about this even sacred things are only things people the heart matter more was anyone hurt yes it's a bad business I should not have let you do this for me but perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre but these Maybe I can calm my people. Maybe a I pipe? can calm my son. I hope so. Good luck. Thank I can't. You. I have to break it. Take those herbs I gave you, please. Do I have to and smoke? Most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Thanks, you too. I murdered a bunch of people to get your bong back, bro. Peace with the land and whatnot. I should not have let you do that. Not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Hmm. Look at all these story missions. Okay. Not gonna do Micah. Eagle flies. Military action. Okay. 
Okay, let's go help Captain... Whatever. Where do I get more dynamite? I hadn't used it all that often before I started playing, but I figured, hey... That would be yeah. awesome for... Anyway... Going to another story mission. For going, we are forgoing all other things. I'm not even gonna stop for people on the side of the road. I usually do that every time. Hey, there's a person on the side. Sometimes they try and kill you. It's not always like, oh, I'm dying. Sometimes it's like, I'm dying. And then they're like, all right, mister, we're gonna take everything you got. And it's like, well, I'm gonna murder you guys. Sorry, going the wrong way. All right, cinematic camera. Take me where I need to go. I don't. Doesn't look like you're following the road. Doesn't always actually work. There we go. All right. Yep. <laughs> to this mission, I think, is to help out a army captain or something who is sympathetic to the oh take care of my horse um native american play i was like i was like sympathetic to the native american play let me shoot this elk in the head yeah i didn't even have my bow and arrow out because it's not worth it. I mean, you can. I guess you could go around killing every single animal you see. Yep. If you wanted to do that. <laughs> but it takes long enough to get places in the <laughs> let alone... I guess that's how you get to be the... Wolves don't even just kill things needlessly. Now, do you hear that? There's a man dying over there. I'm ignoring it. Normally I would veer off and yeah. No, nope, I'm doing the story. Sorry person. So sorry horse. I had to ride all the way back to this village. I have reservations about this. Rude. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. 
Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Faber seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. <laughs> okay. Do I think caution. I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. This is it's Grand Theft Auto, but you ride horses and it's a different it's a different time oh, period. This but it's the same Faber. thing. He knows you're up here helping these people. Yes. And no. Oh, but look how pretty it is. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's all... I still think we can get back together. Are you serious? In this letter, she said you were callow and weak-willed. Yeah? Ugh. Already gone. He fought for the Union in the war. And I just botched considered a quote from Mallrats, which is embarrassing. Failed man is often the most dangerous. For several reasons. She said you were callow. So? I mean, shallow and weak-willed. This is the spot I was thinking of. This is the only part of the letter way. I thought was complimentary. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Hmm. Kevin Smith, what happened? Hold! Life. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a... Long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? 
Uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. <laughs> Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. I'm sorry. How am I supposed to do that? Time to go, boy. Idiot. <laughs> I couldn't see any other way it could have gone down. Yep. That looks like the shit. Again, I currently have the highest morality possible. Well, that's not necessarily true. Almost, when they show the morality meter, I'm, I'm so far up there. <laughs> and I do stuff like that all the time. But apparently that's offset. I think that's part of the game, is that they're like, you know this morality meter is completely ridiculous yes you helped a bunch of people you also killed a, like a bunch of people sometimes for no reason like I also understand that there's a time and a place to fight and everything like that. My guy is considered like the utmost moral what I guess maybe yeah. amongst his gang of thieves. Maybe that's part of it. You're morally superior, but only comparatively. <laughs> Got your drugs. That's such a sinister tune to it Captain after Monroe. the war on drugs, but I got the medicine. <laughs> All right, medicine. That's, that's what we'll call it. News, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, drugs and medicine. It, uh, Alcohol and drugs. Bad. No, it's fun to make these. I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well. I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I've got tuberculosis. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. A man with tuberculosis. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You tell him. Not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. You tell him the skunk man's come for him. Come on now, boy. How are there that many? Yellow missions. Oh. 
All right. T T. Oh, is that? That's the magician. Pretty sure. Eagle flies. I'll go help the magician. That sounds like a lark. It's yellow! You can't be mad at me for... It's technically important. I'm trying as fast as I can go. See how far away is that? I could... Fast travel, but whatever. Nope. Start the ride. Yeah. Lovely scenery. One side <laughs> on your left. Off we go into the wild blue yonder or green or whatever. I guess we're not going into the sea. It's a tune, right? I've had to turn off the end game so I'm down. Check on my horse, probably. Yep. Time to drug it. A bunch of animals. You want to shoot them? No, I've got places to go. Currently ignoring everything that is not a gold or yellow whatever mission. But just getting to them, it takes time. You gotta be prepared for something like this. That's why I put the day aside for it. Thank goodness I did. Because this could take some hours yet, but I... I'm finishing this damn story. Whose fault is that? Autopilot! See, that's another side quest there. That guy wants to fish with me. I saved his ho back when I was doing the side quests. I see he has a missing leg, and that leg happened. Well, yeah, hit with a cannonball, <laughs> and that took away his leg. He then had a replacement leg, a false leg, if you will, and that was actually stuck in the stirrup of his skittish horse. Which I had to go get. Now, we were wondering 
if there was some sort of invisible wall or thing that was keeping me from saving that horse. That was for me, but then not the horse. Um, so I couldn't get it to, I lassoed it, I couldn't calm it down. Apparently, you have to not lasso it, just walk up and calm it. It's very... When I'm trying to get through things and get a thing, you know, it's very distracting. As so much is in this game. That's why. I mean, look at this. It makes you want to go camping. Except then you get attacked by a bear or like some like the hills have eyes mutants and it's like okay never mind you know what I'll just keep playing video games I don't want to be attacked by hills have eyes mutants ever and it seems like you know where that happens the hills where they have the the, the hill people I'll st <laughs> very different than the people that live under the hills. The hobbits. The hills have... Uh, yeah. and I, I hope I'm getting that right. Cause I don't watch many, like, horror, scary movies. Some, but... Thank you. Shut up. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Touch, see? have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I, I have you as a friend. Okay, that's a stupid thing to say. Also, I'm dying. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear, too. This is all pretty much over. Well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Mm -hmm. Sir. I am saying goodbye to everyone, you? so. A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. Yeah. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now he has lied to me more times than I care to remember. But maybe this time. He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry <laughs> arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present. I'm sure. Their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. As long as Charles doesn't walk as slow as he did during the last mission we went on. He, and then he asks, it's a long walk, do you want to steal some horses or just go all the way? I was like, get on the horse, dude. Get on the horse. Charles. Charles! You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. Uh -huh. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. 
Dutch. Mm. Mm. Not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I'm actually sure that there would normally be like a wonderful theme playing yeah. behind that. But I had to turn that off. You're not allowed to have music. Oh, that's, hey, that's copyrighted music. Okay. Someone needs to come to an agreement between like how people stream and how. It's not an easy thing, though, I agree. Easy. Just turn it off. There you do. He'll pull. Bunyapi Ktelo. This way. Oh, that way? It's a good thing that tracker was here. Well, oh, there. Oh, that? Whatever, whatever. Let's do it. I could probably represent them better if I was not wearing the skunk hat. Damn it. Colonel Favors. It's free country. Captain Monroe, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking oh. peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. federal government... Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. How will you be fine? No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. 
he's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is mm. known and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. All right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Get off me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Arthur, let's go. I got a shot. You won't get away with this. Open oh, fire! Ah! You ain't gonna ah! This way! Master! Get out of here, my horse. Come on, Captain. Can you shoot? I can't do it. They're trying to kill you. I swore. I'm gonna put one right between your eyes, asshole. Wing them. Was a Guinness. How did this go so wrong? to have. 
happen. Okay, it's now or never. Let's go. Cap I agree. Mr. Monroe, you're with me. Idiot. Hop on, Captain. We sure as hell don't want to hang around here. Come on, follow me. Yeah. I just saw a bunch of stuff pop up in my chat. I think I might have got delayed, or I was paying attention to it. the mission. Uh oh. believe that just happened I've been an army man my whole life and you didn't see this shit coming the army is always fair to everyone oh, 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 oh. I heard I heard them talk they was gonna have you hang for treason you can't die for those fools <laughs> what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I just saw the last Wookiee supremacy. Feel yes, bad for being be white. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. Uh, nah. Why should I feel bad for being what I am? Disguisable. Tuberculosis. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. First he always, thank you very much. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new <laughs> life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train of sand and eat, jump on a boat. Oh no. Fort Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> he wants some tuberculosis. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man. It's crazy. To death. <clears throat> For a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. You don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. That's Just my so way. Kind. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me, I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy, well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I gonna do now? 
be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. I wanna help somebody. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess uh, I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall oh. try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Shoot her, bang, bang. If when we are, death is not, and when death is, we are not, why then should we fear death? One might just as well fear birth. I think that's Epicurus. It's a new dawn. Let's ride on down the sand and knee, have a shootout, and then someone can't kill me. Or tuberculosis. Duh. Evening, friend. How you doing, Hardener? <laughs> Come here, horse. What do we got? <laughs> what do we got? Random retrospections. All right. F. F for this guy. Dutch has convinced Eagle Flies to take action against the military. And let me guess, the only person who can do all the mission critical things are me. Do they even bother pretending it's someone else? That's why I noticed that a new stream started, so I guess I lost a connection. I was going on like six hours, and now it acts like, oh, I've been doing this for five minutes. Well, I gotta tell you, that's a lie. Thank you for everyone that's come back and joined <laughs> back in and we're gonna get to the bottom of this whatever that hat <laughs> I always skunk hat I've got a skunk hat you could choose any hat that you want but I killed a skunk and I had it skin then I took it to a guy who made me a hat so skunk hat I'm ignoring everything by the way I usually would play this game if that right there but oh was that a, the cry of a wolf I'm gonna go investigate that no. Actually, I should I should just do that it's working actually. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, half this game is like, oh, did you just finish a mission? Well, go travel to your mes next mission. <laughs> your next mission. And then once you start that mission, You'll have to ride to where that mission then actually takes place, because it starts far away from where it is. So then you have to ride to there, and then you do the mission, and then you have to ride to the next mission. At what point, you'll then start riding to the actual start of the mission, because where you, again, where, where you engage the mission starting point is not actually... Now, 
Oh, there's Charles. Go ride with Charles up to the mission point. It's going to take a while. Would you rather take canoes? Is that actually faster? I don't... <laughs> Killing my horse. <laughs> Wookie supremacy. All right, Percy always that hat. Yeah, no, I, I. First of all, I just hate being in this game without a hat at all. If my horse is ever nearby, your horse has your hat usually. Um, and then I happen to be checking mine at some point during one of my streams, or earlier today in this stream, and I noticed that I had my skunk hat, and I was like, well, why am I not wearing this? You're live streaming now. It's time to take this seriously. So I'm the skunk hat man. And I found check my map, it says there F. Hey, go around and climb up. No. Wasn't I up there already? Go around and climb up. Why? Yeah. Eagle flies. We aren't all as flies, you. Know. Just say ride your horse around the bend. So good of you to join us. Oh, What's going shut on? up, Dutch. Rebellion, the smell of cordite <laughs> and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We did. I just want to say quick shout out. <laughs> Thank you, Wookie Supremacy. <laughs> and also, Tom McGlynn. Hey, Vase. Love your still game of Billy Connolly videos. Good vibes. Thanks, man. You can start this, Arthur. They did. Wait, I'm enjoying making them. Huh? It surely and watching is. Whatever them. it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. And now sometimes I do they this. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just going to trap. A few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. You don't take kindly to that kind of thing. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem and will disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So sweet. You're using them. No, sir. No, never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. B by using them. By but using them. Their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. You're no using them are. as scapegoats. Come on. Let's get this done. Okay. Hey, that's the mission. Well, I don't know how to do what fur, but to do what Dutch says. His name is Dutch Vanderland. Okay. Hurry, I follow him around and shoot who he say. That's why I wear a skunk on my head. Again, playing this character as morally good. Almost as you can play. If you look at my morality meter, it's top notch. Do I kill people? Oh, absolutely all the time. I just give money to charities and whatnot. Totally fine. And I now know my character knows that he's dying of tuberculosis. The so doctor said, "You finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, a lot of things are coming to a close. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See, we're tying up the loose ends, Arthur, one by one."
I think that should do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Something went wrong with the detonator. Hurry, you need to shoot the dynamite. All <sighs> right, my tuberculosis. Where did he go? Where are you going? Quick now, Arthur! Everyone into position. What are we doing? We're just checking it out. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're My coming now. eyes will also oh, damn. Ring. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. I'd give it to Dutch. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay. They've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped. Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Be calm, Put boy. your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? ambush. What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! I found him. and bullies watch your goddamn mouth why are you so cavalier about hey, fighting the army and then we move out move now we have to move now search these men quickly spoken like a man who hasn't met a machine gun Christ. yet why are we getting out of here they might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause we need anything my father can use to strengthen our case I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen. I found something. It's a document. I don't see it there. Case after this. 
Why did it tell me to inspect a document? Didn't own yet. So be it. He tried talking. We should get out of here soon, though. Find anything? Yes. <laughs> okay. Poor oh, now Rangers. it's useful. Cuts These in. boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Died to skunk hat man. Where's Peter? Damn, they're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? Charge! He's alive. Well, that went just about according to. Oh, that's where I'm that trying. comes from. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have. Red Dead Redemption I too. Trying, and you'll keep doubting me. We'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me. I'm dying. Just, I'm worried about folk. I know. I. We should go. Where's Eagle Flies? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flies? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Sounds good to me. I'm we out. need to ride hard. Stay with me. Taking some provisions. Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right. I'm willing to bet I could. But... Foot, try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Let's see if we can lose them down here. Shit. I guess not. Get behind something, Arthur. You. Enjoy your last moments alive. Keep going. Follow. 
follow the pass. It's got a spit. That's out somewhere. Run on around the bend. We can hold out. Are you killing any of them? There's too many archers. Fall back. What? What? This is a losing battle, Arthur. You gotta do something. Let's say I'm not the one holding us up. This is it. This. Well, Arthur, put your hands up. Kirkwood. I said, put your damn hands up. Okay. How's it going, buddy? Okay. Follow my lead. Playing some Red Dead Redemption. I'm determined to finish this, this game. No matter how Hello. long it takes. Officers. Oh no, he usually you talks his way out of shit. Come here. I thought last time he did this he was about to die. He went to it this time. Up. I'm gonna stop talking. Hello, Captain. Shut up! Keep Me. your hands up and come here. Come here. We uh we can't do that. Your man. Those men they killed? I have tuberculosis. They were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Uh, this is not going to be good for my tuberculosis. Anybody watch Archer? <laughs> Mup. Mup. This is terrible for my tinnitus. What, what am I supposed to be doing here? Swim for your survival. Oh, tap A. Who taps me? Tap that A. Wait a minute. Here. Oh, don't give up now. Come here, big boy. Oh, I got you. Me, big boy. You're okay. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> no, I'm dying of a disease that is. I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, I must want to see Dutch We die. can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send him. Uh, where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up, then go meet him up at the reservation. We are going to make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Okay. Ooh. So speaking of morality, again, we're seeing the deer here. That's because my character is technically immoral as far as this game is concerned. Uh, that means I'm playing good, which as far as I know, just means I did side quests and upgraded my camp. But if you're bad, you see a wolf during these moments of like hallucination slash almost death. So I'm pretty sure I'm getting close to the end. So anyway, he's seeing a deer. I want to respond to Kirkwood in the chat. He and Fiantu Clever. 
He ain't feeling too clever. Well, none of us are. What a great pause shot there, the his face and the. Well, it's like no matter what, you're gonna die. You've contracted tuberculosis, you're dying. Will you be good or bad? Meh. I need my hat. Where's my horse? This is embarrassing. I can't be seen without a hat. <laughs> See me walking around without a hat? That's better. Okay. On to the next story mission. We're gonna do this. Not Micah. Micah comes last. Damn. Charles. Oh, Charles. You know what? Fine. Do it. Dynamite or no? Get on your horse. Get, get, hey. To eat some food for my... Right, I'm sick. That's part of the thing. I'm dying. Okay. I don't know why this is happening. I just lost my hat. Again! Dead eye, 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 dead eye. Right, I'm dying. Come here. I've had this horse pretty much since the beginning of the game. Not entirely since the beginning, but it's the longest one I've ever had. Give him my hat. All right. What? Ugh. I'm gonna have to stop and prepare some meats. I'm not gonna do that though. I'm just gonna go to the next thing. But cigar. That'll be great for my tuberculosis. I have to consume, like, three times as many health items now. Can I fast travel? Good question. Actually, the loading screen for the fast travel might take longer. So I'm just going to go ahead and beat it. Yep. The horse. I'm going to beat the horse. While I eat some beans. Oh god. Fair enough. I missed my turn. Yeah. Missed my turn. Extra boys? Oh, I never... 
just my luck. Whoa! Hey, whoa! Now you got to be kidding me! Sorry. Not my mission. I don't think so. Let's put a hat on the horse. You can style the horse's mane differently. And you can like... Where'd that go? Kill stuff, but I don't think I can put a hat on the horse. At least I don't have any mods. I'm just playing one the story right now, so I don't know. Sure, there's tons yeah. of stuff you can do. With mods. Tobacco is that probably not the way to go, but my cores are getting diminished. <gasps> I'm sick because I have tuberculosis. Uh. And I guess what it's telling me is I cannot recover anymore. Like you don't get to have full health because you're sick. And now it just told me there's a legendary animal nearby, but let me just get to the mission. Right. Did we not? Just another one. Whatever, here we go. Charles. Arthur. Hello, Charles. Hurry up. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's a. Uh, he's, he's very. Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, yes. Why well, can't? He's in his tent. Mm. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Mm, I just noticed Kirk when you said, Do you play much off live stream? I'm trying to get Xmas ideas for my brother. It looks like a great game. This game, if you need a one player game, like I, I love playing one player games, this is one of the most. I've been trying to do the end game of this, and it's taken me this long, just and I've started ignoring, like. You will get tons of time out of this game. I don't know what the prices are on it at this point, but... And there are lots of other good games out there. Uh, I know both my brothers enjoyed Zelda Breath of the Wild, I don't know. Because this game isn't brand new either, I don't know what brand new games are coming out this holiday season, I'm not... I usually like to play whatever I feel like. Please go talk to him. I think it would help. I'll enjoy. And right now that's this. Okay, over there? Okay, I see it. X marks the... Wigwam. 
Hello? <coughs> Come in. That's some good helium. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Uh, he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. Uh, lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? And people who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. In any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. Relations, I'm you sure say. he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, Charles. Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. Let's go, Charles. I've been scouting the fort. The ride to the mission. The roads and bridges in and out. Ride to the mission, then so ride to the, the mission. The river, then do the mission, then ride close. away from the mission. We then enough, ride back to where the mission began the to start back. the new mission, but okay. it ended so Whatever far away from the original mission. I trust you. No guns. Just My goodness. There is some needlessly noise, time consuming we'll stuff in this game. Okay. I get it. I left two canoes down river in case we need instant way gratification. Out of okay, oh, good. They didn't to be the <laughs> uh, 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 uh. You know, that all you got. This wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw eagle flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe. He's helping himself. You see that? Or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, uh, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. And that's for Dutch. <sighs> I gotta try. I own that at least. That doesn't look great. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, Check you were lucky. Go. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them. They didn't. And what about the calendar boys? 
Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to, to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rainfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Is everything so far we've done has been frickin' nice? I've got tuberculosis. Let's go, boy. I feel like I've been saying that for six hours. Oh, now I can get up. Right. You didn't have your horse you right over front. here. You had to get off your horse right here, or else. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Oh, good. Let's wait We're in here. the dark, in the rain. That's good for my tuberculosis. It's like you don't even care. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Stealth. Forget it. Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Two guards out front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Oh, I know. It's awful. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna let him take the other. It rained on some dump. What are you doing? I didn't know. He said, you take one, I'll take the other. Let's do it silently. Oh, right, it's Charles. We have to use a bow. That's how you do that. I figured I'd knife him. All right, uh, you ready? Okay, bow, bow. Yes. Keep down and follow me. Shut up, Charles. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Why didn't you say something like, use your bow? If that was a necessary requirement. Let's deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. Good. Let's make our way around the back. Stay close to the wall. Your vagaries are not helpful, Charles. There's a guard right above us. Okay. Wait there. Slow. We got two more ahead. One down here, one up in the tower. Let's take one each again. You like getting wet? Miserable night, huh? 
Quick, come on. Everybody quiet, it's a stealth mission. this one. Again. Seems to be how we're doing it. Cause a distraction. Try Good. to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Okay. Lantern, the lantern. Okay. Okay, that was not the lantern. Show it down there. Charles, is that you? 
Got him. Come on. Your father sent us. My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. against the US Army. You ever heard of Custard's Charge? I don't know why I'm rooting against my own army. This ain't the home of the free. Destroy the wall. I have a, I have a hatchet. What about that cannon? Okay. Thank goodness. Pick up the cannon. Come on. Let's use this thing. Oh my gosh. And the horse is on the other side. Are totally hey, cool. Get on. Get on. That I was a cannonball. Yeah. We have to get rid of them, Arthur. 
Hold them off. I'll get Eagle Flies to the canoes. Come on. Get in here. Oh, thank you, friend. You're dead. Yeah, why was I wasting all that time? Let's get down river as quick as we can. Killing okay. everyone. The wish they killed me when they had a chance. Let's just get you to safety first, my friend. It's like Dutch said. They only have power to move out of the They'll have wished they killed me when they had the chance. That they were try they were they this tried to do that. Watch yourself. Last thing you it's not an insightful going. statement. We knew they were trying to kill it. They're trying to kill it. Why does it matter? Can I shoot at people? Oh my gosh. So I'm shooting my boat and I'm supposed to be killing people. You guys have multiple people in the boats. Hello, do I have to do everything myself? Oh, look at that. Lightning. Red Dead Redemption 2 Canoe Drift. Tuberculosis. I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. <sighs> Oh, seems like we're so close to the end here. <laughs> Tell you what, I got cut off. I played an hour since then. I'm gonna finish this. I'll be back. But for now, I've got to go take care of basic human necessities. Hey!
looking forward to more of this, right? Look at look at this. We got rain. We got. We're gonna pick up right here with tuberculosis man with a skunk hat. That's where we'll pick it up. Absolutely.